was a, that was like an hour but i mean if i'm gonna be streaming like uh if i'm gonna be streaming it uh probably for the next few streams i'm probably gonna do just like hour to two hour chunks does that look wrong to me i don't know it's because i started typing it halfway Probably because I usually go like that. Yeah. I'm uh, there's no pl playthrough. That's what I'm looking for. That's why I looked wrong. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Retro, how you doing? Are you up to? Don't mind me. I'm just going crazy. I'm like looking at it. I'm like, why is it wrong? And I'm not. I'm like, I'm not spelling it wrong. Why is it wrong? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, playing some dome. Oh, how is Dome Keeper? I've heard. Good, I've heard good things. Uh, all right, we're gonna load in this. It's gonna load in kind of funny, but we'll see how it goes. Actually, it might load in fine, for all I know. There we go. Once again, it's another game that wants to be played full screen. <laughs> For some reason. Uh, I think I think it's okay. Oh, it's is it scaled up a little bit? What is going on with it? It looks like it's sitting high. Um, here, let me fix. This. Like I said, every game, every oh my god, it's being loud. Um, every game that I like tried to load in today did not load in like easily around 30 ish super fun uh good run based game uh this is kind of relaxing oh that might be perfect i might have to look into it i just wanted to keep keep a dome mood yeah okay so let me take a look at this okay is it just like up no it was just scaled small for some reason. Oh, why is it's like super widescreen what what is what is going on there's, okay, so here's here's the funny funny thing about this. Okay, there, now it's like... Here's the funny thing about this uh, collection. There's no resolution options. Wait, why is it so wide? I know. That's why I, what I was puzzled about. All right. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Ara, ara. Yeah. It's got to be wide. Uh, the circle of the moon, obviously. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Built for thick displays, which is not what I got. I need to get a new monitor. Ever since I learned that, like, bigger... I'm just going to put this under retro. Um, ever since I learned that, like, new and fancy graphics cards kind of require new and fancy monitors, I'm just like, fuck. Like, built the whole computer, and I'm like, I did not think about that part. It's not first play, it's just a howling playthrough. I've played through this game like three three or four times at this point. Yeah. Uh, there we go. An expert in dumbass science. Oh, hell yeah. Actually, I was talking the other day about this. Um, you know, it's funny how like there's qualities that you like look for in like partners and stuff, but you don't realize. Like, it's, it's when you don't realize your type. And I don't know how it was, but when I, a couple of my partners I dated, amazingly all had this through line that they were all kind of, they enjoyed science stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I don't recall, like, purposely, like, I don't think I have a thing for science. I, I maybe have a thing for scientists, but like, you uh, know, it's amazing. I don't know. I just, I didn't realize I had a type. Anyways, yeah. So anyways, dumb, dumbass scientist, that's maybe my type, Jeb. <laughs> I have a thing for women who are smarter than me. That's, that's a mood. That works perfect, because that's like all, all women. So, I'm like, that's all women for me. It works. Yeah. Sophie, how you doing? What you up to? Gay scientist. Literally everyone is smarter than me. Yeah, I know, right? Is that not... We, we got the mad tech for this. Okay, so we're playing Castlevania Circle of the Moon. I haven't played this since 2014, apparently. Uh, let's get into it. You consider me smarter than you? Absolutely. Have you fucking 
We've been together for 15 years. Have you seen me? Oh God, Jesus. Circle the moon, calm down. I mean, I studied physics in college and yeah, nerdy girls are hot, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Sophie, how's things going? How did your stream go? I caught that you were, you had some, uh, had, uh, you were doing a VR stream? VR chat? Oh, I might have to pick your brain sometime about that. All right, let's get into this. We're playing Circle of Moon after 14 years and playing this game again. Uh, oh yeah, we have to, this is like Nate, make a Nate, no, select the data. We're gonna put in our name right now. Oh, thank you for the follow. That's what we're doing. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you for the follow. It's Castlevania. It is 1830, ugh, mood. At an old Australian castle from the worshippers of chaos rise, from the worshippers of chaos rise, the plea for the return of the Lord of Darkness. Yeah. So this channel uh, stance is glasses stay on during sex. Yeah. Gone, eh? Gone, gone. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, Camellia. Uh, we crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering. The ruler of darkness. I actually like it when she's more of like a rival to Dracula rather than like, I like her when she's like a little bit, like I like the cutthroatness of her. It's always, always an enjoyable trait. I've waited for this moment. Wow, that took like nothing. To be awakened again, to bask in darkness and feel the moonlight within. Count Dracula, I am honored to be in your presence. Uh, uh, to say, uh, how you doing? If I'm mispronouncing your name, feel free to correct me. Your model is absolutely adorable. Thank you. Uh, love your voice too. Aw, thank you. Well, welcome. I hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, indeed, though, uh, I lack my full power. We are preparing the right to replenish your power. Stop. Oh, it's Morse. Morse Baldwin, you can't uh, be allowed to taint the world. Uh, you, I remember. You're one of the vampire killers that sealed me. You've aged. It is our duty to see you banished. Amusing. To use my nemesis' life to return my power. I have no use for children. Be gone. Yeah. Uh, gotta fight for your right. Yeah. Uh, you, Nathan. Master. Father. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get into it. Hmm. No creatures around here. Hugh, are you okay? Yeah, we were just brushed aside and ignored. Richard! Michael! <laughs> Snake! Uh, uh, we have to find Master. I'll uh, go. Here's my father. Uh, he's my father. Nathan, you'll be in the way. Just get out of here. Oh, fuck you. We're gonna go explore the castle too. I want to find Master as much as anybody. Yeah. Oh, Whoa, these buttons are not correct. What are what is going on? Uh, we we fucking have to learn it, I guess. Okay. Whew. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, is there any menu for this? Saving system. Oh, here we go. Um, control settings. Holy moly. Okay, we're going to jump. Make this attack instead of display map screen. <laughs> okay. Um, this could be, um, dual setups is a special move. There we go. I display status screen. Yeah, that's fair. Um, <laughs> special move. What the fuck are these bindings? I know, right? Uh, this is all fine, I guess. Okay. Holy moly, those are some bindings. Maybe Dracula would uh, be nicer if he showed him some kindness first. Bullying him just because he drinks blood, shaking my head. That's the thing that I think the anime gets right, is they capture the fact that Dracula is somebody that was like, um, like, he's, he's not evil, he's pushed, he's pushed to be evil. Oh boy, I forgot how starchy this game is. Yeah. Which is always like, 
like in my opinion the best like version of dracula where they capture like the kind of more they capture the human elements oh uh, no the cards Yo! oh i forgot how starchy this game is that's okay we'll get there no ah! <laughs> circle of the moon felt really stiff yeah it takes time to get used to this game that's okay though Ow, no. It feels, like I said, this game is gonna feel really fucking weird after um, Doko Roko, which is like the slipperiest game I've played probably in the last six years. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Okay. There we go. Skeleton Bomber. I could... Yeah. It's interesting that it shows you the cards on the side like that. Like that's an additional, additional thing that they added. Ow! Fuck. Okay, there's hang time on those explosions. Like oh, okay. We gotta, we gotta just like take it slow. Slow and steady. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan, Nathan's a slow and steady kind of character. I stick to my nice waz. The. Yeah. I can't do, like, any of this. I have to play on control, practically. Like, that's not entirely true. I can play on keyboard. There's some games. I think Hard Space is maybe the first game that I can only play exclusively on uh, keyboard and mouse, though. But to be fair, it kind of is a game that's really built for mouse. Oh, cool. The worms are too short. Yeah. Uh, we'll get there. I'm not too worried. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, now I haven't played this game in apparently eight years, so that's interesting. Soldier 76, Superpower Running. Yeah. It's one of my favorite games, uh, not because it's good, but because it gives me very cozy vibes. As the first Castlevania I ever played. Aw, gotcha, good memories. That's always that's always a mood. There's I have a few games like that where it's like there's there's better version there's better there's better games in the series, but it's like this is the one I like because I have good memories tied to it. I'm trying to think of a good example of that. Probably Xerd. Xerd's probably a good example of that. There's other there's other examples though. Let's just take a look here. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is this is this is Castlevania where they have um uh yeah. Okay. That's when we need jump for that. Circle of the Moon was the first Castlevania beat. Ah, gotcha. Ow. First Castlevania. The first Castlevania I played was the original Castlevania. I actually owned it for a little while. Um. But the, f hmm. <laughs> I like how it's per hit. It's not per like per kill. That's an interesting decision. Guess we just gotta take our time and follow the worms. Yeah. Remember if you can hold the whip. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say. I know that there's um, there's like a couple Castlevania games where you can hold for the whip. Um, I think it's four that does the like kind of loose spin that you spin it with the D pad. I couldn't remember if uh, Nathan had that or not as an ability. Really close to the first boss. Oh, whoa. Okay, summons rocks. Okay. I can deal with that. You don't think I can't deal with that? I can deal with that. I'll fight you, Earth Demon. Even though I definitely shouldn't be doing that right now. There. Give me a level. Get some experience early. Uh, I got level two. Good. Yeah, uh, I'll see y'all. Can give me. Uh, yeah, Super Castlevania has the Olympic Whip. It does. It does. That's a good way to put it because it absolutely feels that way. Um, let's see our map. Okay, Whoa, it's really low. I'm actually gonna use the stream to check it. Okay. Ow. Oh, there we go. Boots. There we go, dash boots. Oh hell yeah! Now we can run. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the wind in my hair. This game, uh, maybe a touch quiet. Okay, I will turn it up. Yeah. Uh, put it up to like this. 
Anyways, but yeah, it's kind of a cozy game. I want to show the chat my spreads. Go for it. Uh, I would love you to show. I would love you. To, I would love if you show the chat your sprites. I wonder if they could fix the way you could cheese uh, uh, cheese uh, the gimmick mechanic in the game. Gimmick mechanic. Uh, oh, there we go. Finally. Give me the card. Give it to me. Salamander card. Attributes and action cards can be create a specific fact. These can be set at the menu on the DSS. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we got salamander. So we need we need two cards to make a, a dual thing. Oh, am I poisoned? I am poisoned. That's okay. We're gonna make our way back to the save point for a minute, just to recoup our health a little bit. Okay. So we do have a second card we can get here. We just have to. Alright. Yeah, this is the one that you went in and like you were like, I'm fixing his walk. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the map here. Uh we couldn't go that way because of the jump. Uh, it's nice playing Castlevania again, though. Like, this is just a series that's just, like, near and dear to my heart. Like I said, I didn't realize as a fan of it until, like, I had already played, like, 80% of the series, though. And I just, like, I enjoyed everyone I played, so I kept playing them. And I was like, wait a minute, am I a Castlevania fan? And then I realized I was a Castlevania fan. I remember my favorite time uh, in the game was playing uh, in knife mode. Knife. Knife. Like, and that's the thing, it's like, this is, this, like, Castlevania games are good for Halloween, too, because they're, they're, like, cozy. They're still, like, horror-themed, but they're not, like, scary. Unless you're in a situation like this, which is kind of scary. Get down here, I'll fight you. you gotta make, I, I'm, like, very much in the, like, wrong spacing for this. Oh, now we're making it work. There we go. Yeah. Actually, just one sec. I feel like I didn't look at the whole menu here. Um, wallpaper. Oh, we can have wallpaper. Fancy. Let's try that one. Uh, screen setting size. Okay, here we go. Pixel perfect. Full. Now, we don't want it to stretch it. But, uh, standard. Uh, standard seems like it's scaled correct. Pixel perfect. Yeah, we could do pixel perfect. It's gonna make it really small though, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, that actually looks better. I think that looks a lot better actually. Yeah. You gonna go back after you become a Castlevania fan, it's true. Um, I'm losing a tiny amount of screen, which is a little annoying. Yeah, the, sc the stream is getting it all, but I'm not. Uh, gadget settings display, oh. Uh, yeah, we, we'll leave that on, that's actually pretty useful. Um, no, it's like, it's like mostly scaled, correct? I can't, hmm, let me take a look at it again. It's just really like zoomed in with this. I think it's, I think it's fine. Yeah, if anyone feels strongly about it though, we'll make the switch. Gotta get lots of experience. Um, and uh, is like every time you finish the game, it gives you a word. And when you make the new game, with that word, is slightly changes your gameplay. Knife mode makes the whip uh, really witch, uh, but your knife sub weapon hits super hard. Oh, okay. Uh, I just vaguely remember this. Weak. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, so that's a rock. Yeah, that's something for later. That's a treat for later. Aware of those, but do not think it may quite uh, to the end of normal mode. Okay. These are big doors. Okay. 
Okay, another level. Very good. <laughs> okay. Be like an antidote. Once again, because of the way this game doesn't have resolution controls, and it's, it's like scale. Actually, this, that's still the whole reason. That's why we should go pixel perfect. Um, just one sec. Uh, this is just taking the uh, screen settings pixel perfect. So I'm gonna actually be able to see the full screen now. Can I see the full screen now? I can see the full screen now. Perfect. Okay. Um, how is it for? It's it's like fine for everyone else, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Okay, good. What a weird way for this menu to work. Um, okay. We're not poison, that's the important part. Ow. Rude. Oh, this is getting a little spicy. We definitely gotta get a save to a save point soon. I think we're gonna get the one. It's not too far away. There. Yeah. How does Nathan crawl? All right, Thomas. You have a good night. Uh. Oh, rude. I'll take it. Uh, no, I won't. But oh, different spot. Okay, max MP. Good. I think I'm uh, yeah, I got the skull of bomber card. Okay. Salamander. Oh, whoa. Whoa! Okay, run! <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I love that it does it by hit, which is like the, the super wrong way to do that. Uh, hey, Mud Eater, how you doing? Uh, yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Wait, these are aggressive. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Well, we've definitely went a direction. Oh, oh what are you gonna get? Oh. oh, sorry, Tower Blasters. That's a big win. Okay, we gotta be careful now, because our health is flashing. Ow, fuck. <laughs> ah, can't believe I find a uh, ghost pretty. Thanks. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do any of us code what? Do any of us what? Uh, that it does hit what by hit? Oh, uh, okay. So it pops up a little menu on the side telling you if you have the card for a uh, particular enemy. You can see it there where I hit the skeleton bomber. Um, but it does it rather on 
most most games would do that on kill, but it does it on hit instead, so let me see if I can find a spacing here. There we go. Oh, never mind, I killed it in one hit. <laughs> Which is really funny, that's a weird way to do that. Oh. Okay, we got some gremlins throwing some spears. Um, okay. Oh, hey, there we go. We got some armor. Item, body, leather armor. Wait, 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 wait. It's making my defense go... Oh, okay, there we go, no. <laughs> okay, there. Good, good, good. I was very confused for a split second. Uh, this was sort of the first modern Castlevania, wasn't it? I mean, technically, Symphony, Symphony of Night was uh, a little before this, and... Uh, but it is, it is like, kind of one of the steps in modern Castlevania. There we go. But like, it, it's one of those things that Symphony of Night happened and then this kind of happened, so it, like, is establishing like, Igarashi Castlevania. Uh, okay. Uh, wristband. Okay, there we go. We're getting some stuff. Predates this, but it was the first attempt to bring the style to the handheld. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. This, uh, these sarcophaguses are like clown cars. It's so weird. They just drop a million mummies out of it, huh? Uh, item, cotton. Yeah, it's just, just worse. Okay. It's weird. The back button's actually the attack button. Um, but I guess it's Game Boy Advance, so that makes sense. Go. Yeah. Oh, hello. That looks like a thing I should have. Yeah, probably, probably a good way. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got holy water. That's that's gonna be a big win. Okay, we can't jump up there yet. We need a super jump. I don't. Know. Oh, fuck. I was about to say I don't remember if this game has like the secret inputs or not. Like, I think it does, but it's like, I think you have to unlock them. Yeah, okay, we got slide. We have backflip. No. Yeah, an actual sub weapon. This one's gonna carry us, though. This one's gonna do some work for us. Um, okay, so we're gonna go up this way. I'm already, like, climatizing to it. Oh, this feels good. Okay. Makes me realize how few things actually drop cards in this. XMP, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, boss room. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Oh, fuck. Okay. This is a fire one. Oh, right. Okay, I remember this. Oh, okay. Ugh, I hate when wolves, like, release their bubbles at me. Laser. I saw that. <laughs> Fuck. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit too. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, no, okay, good. In the right place for that. Go away. Oh. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, first boss down. Holy water doing work. Give me, give me, give me a thing. I forget what you draw, but you give me a thing. Oh, never mind. Maybe you don't. Goodbye. <laughs> Progression! That's what you give me. There we go. Double received. Another jump. Uh, perfect. We got double jump, which is always a nice thing to get early in a game. But a whole game has to be designed around, like, 
I don't know. It's just it's just nice mobility. There's like there is like I've played games where double jump happens quite late, and I do kind of appreciate it, but no, I like I like the mobility that comes with double jump. Oh. Okay. Um, we're gonna go back to the save point, of course. Okay. Collect some hearts. Let's, don't know when we're gonna have another boss right away. Uh. Uh, oh, uh, muffle, muffle, mu muffle, muffler, arch, an an answer. I'm having a hard time saying your name. Feel free to like space it out for me. Welcome. How you doing? I've actually played all the 2D Castlevania games except for Haunted Castle, which we don't talk about. Yeah, rancher. <laughs> yeah, Muffalo is in Starbound. Oh, gotcha. Welcome, Mavala Rancher. Okay, gotcha. Oh, Rim World. Okay, welcome. But yes, I've played. I've played um, the whole series before. I'm just doing this for just because it's good Halloween vibes. Plus, I have a fresh copy of this to get all the achievements on, so that seems like something to do. Uh... Uh. I know it's probably just anxiety, but I feel weird right now. Yeah. Doing good? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I feel a little bit weird, but I'm also like kind of uh, COVID quarantine. I might be exposed, so I'm kind of just like waiting. Waiting to figure out. Uh, I could go through the bottom way, which I think just is a loop around, uh, which we should probably take if we want the 100% map, which I think is probably an achievement. So, we're gonna just like run our way over there. Uh, yeah. I'm fascinated by the design of uh, Castle uh, Circle of the Moon's uh, castle. Like it is a starting area, but you don't uh, don't start there. <laughs> it is interesting, yeah. There's some like, like honestly, like I don't know. Circle of the Moon's pretty good. I always liked it. Oh. There we go. Get the level up. So now we can double jump up here. I like that they reaffirm that we have double jump by making us glow. Yeah, uh, this stairway. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's too high. Yeah, okay. So we go down. And from here, we can go over and up this way. I do appreciate the fact that we got run right away. That was kind of a relief. I kind of oh, oh, picked up a knife by accident. Don't want that. Holy water is definitely the better option. armor. This is a card for us. So like, see, that's what I'm talking about right there is why the, it like pops up every time, which I think is kind of silly. It should be like when you kill the enemy. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, actually, this works out because this circles around and we go in here. Yeah, I get a little bit more max HP. I don't know how much this game does breakable walls. I kind of forget. If there's a breakable wall, it'd be like right here. Okay, we're gonna go all the way around again. Yeah. Yeah. Only two Castlevania games I've played: Harmony of Dissonance and Portrait Ruin. I love Portrait Ruin. I know it's kind of like out of the three, um, it tends to fall to the wayside compared to Order of Ecclesia, which is honestly fair because Order of Ecclesia is like basically perfect, uh, but I think Portia Rune is super fucking fun. I think it's a really fun Castlevania game. 
Like, I don't know, I really enjoy when area design seems to be like, uh, be how it is and not explicitly made for your adventure through. Yeah, like, having having some like, uh, just like weird quirky design elements that isn't like built entirely around the flow is like a good idea, I think, in these games. Because it makes it, it makes it more, it makes exploring feel more like valid. Having just like a side area where you go get a thing. There we go, Mercury card. Um, okay, so we're gonna open this up. We're going to... Okay, so we got Salamander and... Okay, do these just not combined? Maybe they don't combine. Dual setup system. Because we... Okay, maybe not. Not yet. Wait, card. Examine, examine cards. I vaguely remember this system. <laughs> magic items, okay. Oh, there we go, okay, it gives fire, okay, okay, okay. That's better. We had to use it once for it to, like, explain it to us, didn't we? Whip, uh, okay, fire attack, perfect, perfect, okay, that's a good, good, that works. Okay, let me turn it off, okay, I remember now. Uh... Also, still works in the game design uh, piece, yes. I guess I don't need that heart. Well, let's go over to this door first. Okay. Yeah. Giant Iron Maiden. Seems fun. <sighs> Just longingly sighing. It's like, dang, when. When am I going to get put in an Iron Maiden? No. Is that booking a Bloodstained Ritual of the Night? Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? Um, I liked Ritual of the Night. I actually like Curse of the Moon way more. Curse of the Moon 1 and 2, 100%. Like, 100% recommend. For morning, I've tried actually collecting all the cards legit this time. It is hell. It is grindy. I do remember the last couple being really grindy. What's up? I imagine you do not want to hear about the cheese card system. Um, asking a right so that it sets in stone no one that knows it spills the beans. I don't know. There we go. Yeah. Fair warning. Because uh, I, I did like the full 100% like last time I played it. But once again, it was eight years ago. So those memories are like, I don't know, converted into how to make like apple salad or something. Like. I only have so many brain cells and so much room for memories. I don't I don't have time to remember every game I play, like in full detail. Like I platinum them and then I wipe it from my mind. It's really not too bad. Most of them drop, uh, yeah, from a handful of different enemies. Yeah, which was something that like, I remember when I played Aria of Sorrow the first time, I felt like, um, I felt like the soul system was a worse version of the card system because it's like, oh, you have to get it from every enemy. And then I was like, oh, there's like way more. So that was fun. <laughs> but I, re I distinctly remember being like, oh, well, why don't they just double it up? It, uh, uh. But I really like Aria of Sora. I like Aria of Sora and Dawn of Sora. They're both, they're both good. Where am I going? I'm up really high. Do I want to be up here? I guess I do. At least I don't hide enemies in hard to reach places. Oh wait, yeah. Mood. Mm, audience room. Mm. Hey, grinding for specific cards, so I learned how to cheese the system a bit. Yeah. Uh, Axe is pretty good because it gives you a nice, like, attack angle that you don't normally have access to. Um, but, like, Holy Water is just better because it stacks with your attacks. At least in my eyes. Um, okay, so we're up and around. Do you want to go down this way? That connects with the other hallway. Um... Actually, can we go down this way? This is like, yeah, this is the room that Dracula's in. Yeah. Okay, another big block. Don't have any. Don't have what we need there. Yeah. 
but no, uh, out of the Bloodstain series, um, I highly, highly recommend uh, Curse of the Moon 1 and 2. 2 is the better of the two of them, but like they're both excellent. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be like showing the thing every single time. That's kind of silly, but I won't sweat it too much. I'd rather show me what card, what, what enemies have cards and not. So it's only a benefit. Saves me the trouble of remembering it. I haven't uh, tried Curse of the Moon uh, yet since I can't imagine I would like them. Since I don't like care. Okay, yeah, if you don't like older style Castlevania games, Curse of the Moon is not going to be like, um, probably not going to scratch the itch quite as much. If you like old school Castlevania, you'll love Curse of the Moon, particularly Castlevania 3, um, which is, <laughs> which is a really hard game. It's Castlevania 3 if Castlevania 3 was fair and of decent, like, moderate difficulty, not like what Castlevania 3 actually is. Um, but yeah, like to me, like Curse of the Moon was the year I played it. I think it was my game of the year. Like it was that good in my eyes. It was it was like the best game I played that year. Yeah. Oh yeah, Curse of the Moon absolutely makes Castlevania 3 unnecessary. I 100% agree with that because it's just a better version of Castlevania 3. And then the sequel is Castlevania 3, but if you had a dog, so it's just definitively better. Slimes give a card too, huh? Yeah, I'll level up off some slime. Oh, hell yeah, we got the card right away. Okay, so we want to try that out. Try a little mix and match. Okay. Okay, let's off some kind of light when I do stuff. Uh, damage increased by 25%. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Better wall. So right now we're just kind of going around. Tearing things up, I guess. Ow. Electric skeleton. Going around collecting some cards and stuff, you know. Oh, hey, we got a potion. That's good. Yeah, dog mech. A dog, you say, yeah, it's a corgi, and it drives a fucking robot, which is like... I'm like, damn, this is peak character design I didn't know I needed in a Castlevania game. Uh, there's a card that, uh, when combined with Venus, increases your luck by quite a bit. Ah, I gotcha. Actually, yeah, also just specify that the mech is also a train. Yeah, there's a dog robot. No, the dog is actually just a corgi, but it pilots a robot train. Uh, which is one of the playable characters. <laughs> so Curse of the Moon is a good Castlevania 3. Hi, how you doing? You kind of just snuck in here. Uh, no, we're saying the dog is a mech pilot. Aw, yeah, good as boy. Oh, so you have my attention about this porn game. Wait, what, when we, did we talk about the porn game? Because that game, I haven't played it yet, but it's basically, from what I understand, it is a better version of Castlevania 2. So I'm excited about that premise. Which isn't hard to do, but it's also like, it's... It's spicy Castlevania 2 that's good. So that means it's the definitive version of Castlevania 2. We gotta get our electric skeleton. Um, at some point. I'm in no rush. I'm just like, where am I going? I'm really going some distance here. Ah, uh, Sarah, how you doing? Uh, isn't uh, Castlevania already a game where you whip things in dungeons? Oh yeah, but it's way spicier than that. Yeah, the Tower of Succubus. Yeah, I think we're talking about Midnight Castle Succubus. 
which I hear is actually really good. Yeah. I would play it on stream. I would play it on stream sometime if it wasn't for the fact that it ban can be banned on Twitch. Yeah, but maybe I should just get a different... I have, a, I have another streaming account that I can tap into. Mandragora. Okay, so now we have to do these combinations. Which, mm, whip attack of thorns, and this is gonna give us some other benefit. I don't know. remember the back one. We got a little bit more max MP. Hell yeah, fancy stream of Midnight Castle of Succubus. I'd fucking do that. Oh my god. <laughs> so out of out of all the like, um, I ordered some cute outfits, a few few things for the fans leave for a future well, for seasonal photo shoot, and I may have ordered um I may have ordered a little bit of um like a little bit of succubus energy. So um maybe. <laughs> Uh, a while back, I uh, searched JRPG on Itch.io and hoping that they had a better than the usual RPG Maker Fair. Like half the results for Hero Camps uh, is what my genre has become. Yeah. Oh, JRPGs kind of have fallen into it. I do agree. Yeah. But all the Succubus games. Vibrates and excitement. <laughs> That's like a maybe though. That's a maybe. I don't know if I'm comfortable like doing like live streams in person again. Like, maybe, maybe. But I, then I could still do it as a VTuber, I suppose. But eh, then at that point, what's the point of the launcher, right? Eh? Disappointing. Bodies are complicated. Aww. It's cute. It has little wings on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even tap into this. Oh. oh, what we got? What we got? Oh, you got the poop, Digimon. Congratulations. Enjoy, Sloth. Uh, yeah, you can still uh, VTuber on Fancy. That's true. It does kind of... Uh, oh, didn't make it clear what that does, huh? So, fire... Okay, well... Uh, no. The... The button there. Okay. Ow. Ow. Hold them with low axe, huh? The mix. Hmm. Okay. So it didn't didn't really clarify that one, huh? We'll, we'll go with this combo, though. Andre is for uh, fan art reel. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, tell me it's not a treat. <laughs> yeah, no, there's some tricks in there. Um, all right. <laughs> Sorry, so come on. <laughs> oh my god, the, the spacing, the neutral, unbelievable. Unbelievable. These electric skeletons unmatched. Oh, we got a boss room. Okay. I appreciate that they're marked. Okay, there's gonna be a save room around here close, but... But... How close? Oh, it's the other side of the block. I bet that's how we, that's how we get back. Uh, this is actually probably a good spot to grind for the electric one. But maybe. Mm. 
There we go. XFGC contender, electric skeleton. Time to show us skeleton pussies exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I got a bone up on my pussies to fight electric skeleton. <laughs> Gonna have to start mixing in the spicy sets uh, with the cat model, yes. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. We can save. Electric Skeleton uh, <laughs> really puts on a shocking show. It does. With footsies like that, I mean, damn it. It's probably a good spot, but I don't know if it's worth really grinding it out. You know what I mean? It's, it's actually just a little bit too far away to comfortably grind it. I'll probably just get it by accident anyways. Electric skill, <laughs> uh, Arya mentioned the skeleton footsies too. Yeah, right? Is Arya playing this right now? Oh, that'd be great. The only one who can possibly take down the electric skeleton is their moral enemy, Bonesaw. Ah, uh, Bonesaw. reference sheet for your model exists somewhere. Uh, I do have one. I do need to update it. So, and I will update it probably in the very near future. It's just, I keep forgetting to do it, honestly. Uh, Farmstead, how you doing? Uh, um, there is an outdated model sheet that I could upload, though. It's not super outdated. It's mostly just in, the eye details aren't quite right. Because I changed my eyes here, probably. Eh. Like, six, eight months ago. Oh, necromancer, extraordinary to be dropped into the abyss and still live. But your luck is about to run out. Get out of my way, child. Before I finish you, I will tell you some news. Your precious master is already in our power. What? That old man will feed us with his soul. The rite has been prepared and we only await uh, the full moon. No. Okay. Ooh. Oof. This is not gonna be a good one. Uh, okay. Um, okay. First of all, let's power up. Let's. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm, this is not good. Yeah. These are these are going out of weird directions, and he's also up really high. Yeah, gonna have to waste extra. Um. Mm, let's see. Use a potion. Okay. Uh, he's staying up too high for me. Oh. And I can't see how much damage I'm doing with this. <laughs> I don't think it's very much all of a sudden. Uh. Fifteen. Okay. I mean, it's just straight up a damage bonus, so. <laughs> So throws half them, then throws the other half. Okay. Yeah, this is not cutting it. Um, let's try something else. Let's try fire. Fire. Fire is good at killing things that need to be dead. Ooh. The, his, the, it's the movement that's getting me bad here, and also the fact that I'm like fighting blind. Ugh. 13. 13 damage. Also not good. Yeah, I think we're losing this one. Um, I do with the thorns. Try it. Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. We killed him. Okay, cool. Oh, she's. Uh, he's not done yet! Ah! It mostly depends on how uh, well you acclimate to... Um, okay, I'll remind you about the reference sheet sometime this week. 
Like I saw a lot, so I'm scoping out this other GBA one. Ah. Uh, I'm guessing it's a lot harder. Um, well, I'd say out of the three Game Boy Advance ones, I'd say probably Circle of the Moon is the hardest one, but it's just because the movement is the most rigid out of it. But I wouldn't consider any of them really hard. Um, it's for real estate. It depends on uh, how acclimated you are. Yeah, Circle of the Moon, yeah, exactly. The controls. <laughs> Ah, I love that squeaky little sound. I know it's probably supposed to be like bats or something, but <laughs> terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's it's design. It's like it's still got the earmarks of being designed to feel like uh, old school Castlevania, which is kind of its problem. Yeah, yeah. Because it sounds more like somebody put on like a rubber glove and is just rubbing like a whiteboard or something. I don't know. It's just it's not an appealing sound. <laughs> We did that uh, to ourselves and prevent anyone from necromancing us once. Had a contingent spell for when we died. Got to get out of that backup spell, which just makes sense. We just get a potion. We got a second potion. Yeah. Okay. Okay, when we get up there, we're going to... Uh, we're going to do a clean run up there and... But if we level up, we'll head back. A little bit of that slow game. Okay. Let's try this again. Round two. Uh, I don't know if the thorns were any good or not. I don't remember. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll take a look and see how much damage this does. So it's 12 with nothing. Mind our footsies, because our health is more important than doing damage right now. There we go. Okay, it's just moving in a big circle every time. 14. That's not bad. Uh, here we go. See, that's good. That that was really good. Ah, uh, here we go. See, it's just a matter of feeling out his movement. There, easy. Oh, cool. Jeez, okay, fuck. <laughs> Go in the opposite direction with the movement now. Now I'll come back. I'm not done with. Ooh, fuck. Ah! Yeah. Okay, great. Ah! I love this attack. This is like. Whoa. One benefit Nathan has, though, compared to a lot of a lot of Castlevania protagonists, this is a, actually a staggeringly long whip for like considering everything. Oh, oh, okay. Like it's hitting like most of the length of the screen. <laughs> oh. At least from the middle, of course. They flew in behind the wall like that. Oh, crap. Ah! Okay. Keep yourselves alive a little bit longer. Oh, fuck. Oh, the bones. No. Oh, we got it. Oh, what? Two level ups? I'll take it. Yeah, the classic necromancy energy pinball. Ah, uh, yes. I know Master is still alive. Hold on, I'll be there. Though, where is Hugh? I'm gonna go back to the save point. I know that's probably silly, but it's safe. Yeah, 
I gotta save Hugh Chapman. Or Hugh J. Dick, apparently. Uh, where, <laughs> where are you? I'm right here. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, where are you, old man? Like, I know it's too early to have symptoms and things, but it is, like, I don't feel, I feel uneasy. I don't know. Like, my eyes don't feel right. Mm. And yeah, I had an exposure. I had an exposure on, um, Friday night. Special, yeah, okay. We got our shoulder, we got our shoulder tackle where we actually just break rocks with our head. Uh, are you sick? Uh, looking a bit blue. Yeah, I keep lit. How you doing? Uh, uh, I knew cat, I knew categorically when I had COVID, it was like not ambiguous at all. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like. I don't have any like big symptoms, but I just feel a little bit off. Just like just the smallest amount off right now, and it's like. Yeah, I hope you feel better soon. Aw, well, thank you. Uh. Like, I'm hoping I'll be okay. The person that I got it from said that they're experiencing. They have a. They're having a very mild case, so hopefully that's a good sign that you know. I will also have a mild case. I know it affects everybody differently, but, you know, I can only hold. It's a shame, too, because I'm so fucking careful. Uh, how do you do this? You run and then... And then what was the... Let me look at the item. Tackle. Forward special. Okay. Night, Mom. Love you. Yep. You have a good night. Night. Okay. Are you already positive? I haven't tested positive yet, but uh, the okay. So the gist of it is, is um, I have a friend that visits me. Like, it's the only person that actually visits me, pretty much. Uh, they come over once every like month or two. Um, uh, they come over once every month or two, and uh, they test before they come over because they're also going to visit their parents, and their parents have like respiratory issues, so. Um, you know, they test before they visit. Um, they tested negative, um, that afternoon. And when, um, when, uh, uh, they came over, they visited me for about three hours. And, uh, then they went home. The next day they got up in the afternoon and, uh, they had a scratchy throat and they tested positive. So they tested negative at like 4 30 the day before and positive the next day at like probably three ish so i'm probably pretty for sure exposed at this point which is a shame because like i said i have like i never see anybody in person practically i've been super careful about it but it is what it is it just goes to show you that even even taking every precaution you're still gonna there's gonna be a risk Yeah, I'm like, fingers crossed, maybe I didn't get it, but it's not likely. Usually you're contagious, like, two days before you show symptoms, so... They would have been, like, contagious and, like, basically right next to me for three hours in a tiny room. Uh, it's not positive yet, but a high probability it will be. Yeah. It's a shame, because... Uh, I am not looking forward to it. The last time I had a cold, it really fucking knocked it out of me. I was sick for like three weeks, and my voice didn't even fully come back for like a month after that, so... And that one didn't even have a name, so COVID... COVID's a little scary for me. Yeah. It's been really like going around here though too. Like I've had like three three friends that I know like kind of in my region that all have had COVID in like the last couple weeks. So so it's the co the amount of COVID around is really dense right now. But on the plus side, they were able to of course message me right away that 
they tested positive, and that means that I've been able to isolate like right away. So I'm pretty much positive at this point that my mom isn't at risk because I wouldn't have even seen her like after seeing my friends. So, and it usually takes a couple days for you to become contagious too. So, is there a supernatural creature? Yeah. Clink, clinkling. What does that mean? What is the definition of clinkling? Mm. Uh, I have man who clinks. <laughs> okay, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> oh, I can't shoulder tackle this wooden crate. I can destroy stone. This is the same complaint I had last time too. I've heard weird anecdotes about people who've had exposures and were fine sending you positive energy. I feel like vaccines complicate things. Get your fucking vaccines. Vaccines are super important. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, I've had some. I've had. I've had some. Uh, I've had some experience with chains. Um, I don't recommend it. Here's the thing that they don't. You don't realize about. Uh, like here's the thing um, that you don't realize about chains until you've been in chains. Um, chains pinch really easily. Like you move around any amount of chains, you're going to. You're gonna be left with a bunch of pinch marks. It's really unpleasant. So there you go. For anyone that's thinking about what would it like to be in chains, there you go. Kinky. It, it was like kind of kinky, but it wasn't like that kinky. It was a little kinky. Yeah. Use plastic Halloween chains. That's maybe not quite. Oh, I do like the cross. Cross has a lot of utility. Yeah. Plus, it doesn't quite scratch the same itch, though, but at least for aesthetic, it's something. Um, yeah, I will say if you're gonna if you're gonna get tied up, I recommend rope or tape. <laughs> so. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, no, like, I know there's gonna be people out there and they're gonna be like, the chains. It's like, think about like the good theming, right? And it's like, no, you don't, you really don't want chains. Nobody wants chains. The only time you want chains is like, maybe. There really isn't, there really isn't like a good way to use them where it won't like pinch you in some capacity. It's just super unpleasant when you get pinched. It's not even like good pain, it just hurts a lot. Plus if they're metal, then you have to potentially... I, I don't think the risk of tetanus is really high off something like that, but it's good to get your tetanus shots updated. Uh, it's attached uh, to a collar, fine. Yeah, see like a little chain? Okay, like little chains? Little chains are good when you're talking about like big hefty chains. They're like, you know, the big like O-ring. Like, uh, oh, there we go. Um, like, just the big, almost like cartoonish style chains that are like big and heavy. Um, those, those are not pleasant. Yeah. I was swinging them like a whip. Um, if it was the chains that I have experienced with, that would actually probably break bone. It was, they were like the real deal. <laughs> so. But, uh, but, um, yeah, no, like, collar chains are fine. That's really cute. But of course, they're not designed to be, those type of chains aren't designed to be heavy. Okay, let me see, where are we going here? But no, like, definitely, definitely make sure everybody, like, make sure you get your vaccines. It's super important. I was going to get my fourth shot soon, and I wasn't able to get it, unfortunately. I actually think I want... Oh, rope is super good. Rope is very, very comfortable. Uh, ro like, honestly, rope is just like... There's there's very few negatives to rope. Rope on the rare occasion might pinch just a, like a tiny bit, but like it's not even like that bad. The bigger, the bigger problem with rope is just finding somebody that's actually a rigger that's like able to like work with it. Because like rope is actually kind of technical. Tape, tape you can get by with like very little knowledge. Um, rope actually takes some like actual like knowledge to figure out. Uh, fuck, I want to uh, wear some rope this weekend. There you go. Uh.
I would like to go to this area. This hallway is very long. Uh, I only have uh, my partners, so I guess they're gonna have to watch a lot of videos to learn. Yep. Although, like, learning rope, like, for yourself is a good idea, too. It's still, still not a bad idea. I like this design. Uh, double jump required to get out of the zombies. Stay put. <laughs> yeah, like self bondage. Like that's that's still like there's a it's valid. The thing the thing is, is honestly, it's hard to convince somebody to learn rope because it's it's very very taxing to like learn. <laughs> that's at least from my experience. Oh, like a bronze armor. I got prison garb. Um, more by prisoner. More attack power, but less defense. This is a lot more defense though. Um. I could just equip another wristband. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Yeah, Dracula could install a few uh, wash pits and <laughs> later versions of the castle, yeah. Oh, Machine Tower. I kind of appreciate the fact that all the names in this area, like in this game, are kind of weird. Like, it's, it's a clock tower. It's just the clock tower. It's, you could just call it clock tower, but they don't. And I don't know why, but I kind of like it. jump there. Uh, there we go, might as well smash that. Uh, I remember the clock tower being awful, you didn't level enough for it. The only thing I really distinctly remember about Circle of the Moon is getting stuck in the sewer section because I didn't go far enough. I got really lost at one point because of it. Oh, I'll take that. That was actually probably the best thing that could have happened there. Oh, shit. Stoned. <laughs> oh, fuck. Taking a spill. Yeah, this place is probably a little bit much. Uh. That. Oh, stopwatch. It's not terrible. Come on, I can thread that needle. Uh, this is a uh, whip. <laughs> I've never had any actual experience with a whip. I feel like it would actually hurt. I feel like. <sighs> now that, like. Uh... As, as as I, like, grow in experience in, like, uh, BDSM stuff, I distinctly feel like there's certain things that are big, like, like, high experience things. Like, you can't just have, like, you need somebody that knows exactly what they're doing with certain things. And it's like, that is, that is one of those things. <laughs> I like that Nathan can just break rocks with his head. Uh, mind empty. Rock destroyed. Uh, the whip can hurt like hell, yeah. Uh, can really easily exert too much force. Exactly. Uh, if you need to complain about the name of the castle wing Dracula, just renames it to the one you hang out with. <laughs> to diaper piss baby zone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so we've been to that side of it. Boy, we've we've kind of just crossed over the castle and just went a bunch of different directions, and there was no real like lo <laughs> rhyme or reason where I went. I'm pretty sure I skipped. Oh, I skipped a boss here. Yeah, give me give me give me the hard ring. That's what that's what Nathan needs. Oh. oh, black licorice. Uh, big pass for me. Uh, increases defense increases well equipped. Well, that's how defensive items work. Um, that is a lot of defense. Remember when I was learning uh, what whips are like? Uh, my dumbass ass. <laughs> Go full bore. Oh, yeah, no. Directly into the trash. Yeah. 
I'll take. What, what do you want? Yeah, because I mean, uh, Leo is just wild. You crisscross and like, yeah, definitely. Like you get a lot of freedom right away in this game. So like your ability to like go different directions is quite high. Why did I go that long way around? thing to fight but uh mish how you doing what you up to i had uh i just sleep on my stomach for days oh 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 yeah yeah i can only imagine that is that is rough oh we'll get a little bit of experience here heat shade i don't know what overlaps with heat shade but This is probably one of the better places to grind it out. If I'm gonna do this, though, I should probably unequip the hard ring so I get a little bit more defense. Or a little bit more luck, rather. Uh, what I want is I also want... Um, yeah, that's that would be a good combo. Okay, who needs running? Not me. <laughs> We're just grinding it out right now. Not not a real good idea, but yeah. It's one of the Castlevanias where luck uh, luck bug and uh, luck is bugged and does nothing. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, well then that's good to know. Get my hard ring back on. Luck does in fact work in this game card is just terrible in general. Yeah, I remember being really harsh. I remember spending quite a while on, sh on stream the first time I did this. Uh, I forget which one, which card it was, but it took fucking ages. It took forever to get. Yeah, I'll only do it a little bit longer. I'll do it till like the next level or something. Or I die, I guess it's an option too. But have you ever done the exploit where you can use any card combo? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Last time I would have played this was eight years ago, and then prior to that it was like 20, so... <laughs> Been a hot minute, but... There we go. Surprisingly, easy and still works in, uh, the ports. I can only imagine it. How much do we got to level? Uh, oh, it's actually quite a bit. How much am I getting per shade? Um, okay, it's like over a hundred, so I'll, I'll go to the next level and then we'll like switch things up. Because this is something I can always do off stream. slowly bleeding out. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying to hit it, like, hit the, her and the fireball at the same time, but I'm doing it a little too, like, early. There. Spacing, I was a little too close and a little too early. Um, yeah, I'll probably just play legit, I guess. There we go. Okay, level up. Okay. Uh, the thing is, you have to memorize where the cards are in the menu. Okay. 
Oh, see, they're up here too. Oh, shit. Multiple, okay. That's <laughs> it. Knife again, exciting. Uh, this is definitely a place where a place where we do rocket jump code. You look extra spooky today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Oh, <laughs> glad I missed that. Gonna hit I was about to say we're gonna hit save points soon. I can feel it. Okay. Dracula, no. What we got? Oh, it's well, Luigi. Enjoy! Enjoy, Val. Uh, what a treat. Uh, wow. Oh. Uh, just take a look at it. Probably not any better. Uh, a lot of uh, lose a lot of defense. Gain a lot of intelligence, though. I'll try it. Mm, okay. Not that bad of a fall. Okay, maybe that's how we work our way up. We'll find out. Oh, hello. You know what? Honestly, realistically, um... Uh, realistically, probably the axe is better for this, or at least the cross. Because there's so many enemies that are just flying around that I really would benefit heavily from having a good sub weapon for. Whereas most of the things that are on the ground that I kill with holy water don't matter that much. So, like, there might be a benefit to it. Uh, never say from with Luigi. Oh. Okay, it's in the same spot. Uh, no, okay, it moves the lightning every time. Okay, so that's based on where I am. Uh, if I were to be shot, I would simply not be shot. <laughs> Who needs defense when you have intelligence? To so smart the bullet, exactly. This has got a better mix than the electric skeleton. Yeah, well, the electric skeleton didn't have mix. It had good neutral. <laughs> these are, these two, these, I like to see these two face each other in the tournament. In the Castlevania tournament. That's something I'd actually like to play sometime. I know there's a really good Castlevania Mugen, like, boss rush fighter thing. That seems like it would be really fun. Oh, cool, I might die. I should probably not. Oh, yeah, give me the fucking magic gauntlet. Give it to me. Give it. Give it. Where where, where do I put it on my hand? Uh, put... No, no, no. Oh, okay, never mind, I guess I'm using the potion accidentally. Um, yeah, give me the magic gauntlet. Give it to me. God, and... Uh, uh, oh god, I know of that, and it looks sick as hell. Yeah, right? Right? Uh, oh, okay, let's get out of here. Let's not die so I can actually go back to the save point and save my magic gauntlet that I acquired. Doesn't even seem that good, but it's mine, so that's all I care about. Oh, that's not what I need to do. Um, oh, there's a room up here. I don't want to miss that. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Oh, it's different in this. It makes things slow. It doesn't stop them. Oh, fuck. Hang time on the rocks. Yeah, give me a hard ring. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Alright. Oh, 
I probably should have used that first. <laughs> the weaker enemies make it a right stop. Uh, makes sense. Oh, look at that. Holy water right there. You know what? I'm going to stick with this because at least it affects everything equally, whereas the holy water, really good for certain enemies and bosses, but not as good for others. Um, okay, so we're going through here. Whew. Oh, card. There we go. See, Jupiter. Didn't have to. Didn't have to grind it after all. Um. Okay. Oh, cool. Get some flames that go around us. It's a pretty, pretty easy to tell what that's doing. All right. Um. Can't do a super jump yet, so no point in going up that way. Go over this way, hit the save point. Uh, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's enjoying this so far. Hey, Floppable, how you doing? Uh, um, Fireball circle you. Do this combo now. Let's see what it does. We don't know yet. Okay. Yeah, Castlevania good, exactly. Uh, quick defensive options. Yeah, that makes sense. Jupiter is pretty good at things or pretty good at having things orbited. That makes sense. There we go. Okay. Um, from here we're just gonna go up this way. Whoop! Shit. Okay. That's all right. It's still good. It's still good. Bonk. Hmm. Okay. Oh, fuck. Spacing. Okay. Have I been in here? I have not been in the very top room. Uh. <laughs> Actually, can this work on enemies? I don't know if I've ever thought to try doing the shoulder tackle on an enemy. I should, I should try that. I'll try it on this fox up here. <laughs> oh my god, it works! I didn't know that. The more you know. Well, now I know what I'm doing all the time. Why would I not try and destroy all the enemies with <laughs> full shoulder tackle run? That's what we do now. If it, do if it doesn't hit you, you'll take collision damage. <laughs> Shit. If what doesn't hit me? I mean, it was just as strong as the whip, technically. It did 82. Oh, oh shit. I thought that was gone. Left the screen, so it left my mind. <laughs> Ow! Oof, that was mean. Ow, also mean. Loading projectiles while, while off screen. Rude. Um, okay, let's go up this way. Damage to the slime. Get fucked. We're just gonna fucking railroad all these slimes. <laughs> okay, that yeah, that didn't kill. But okay, destroyed. <laughs> okay, everything does 260, 68 damage. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I'm poisoned. How did this po? Oh, the slime poisoned me. Right. Okay. Oh, oh shit! That goes way farther than I thought it would. Uh, you know what? Slow it down for a second. There. Uh, should've did that earlier. Okay. But yeah, no, I have to play Midnight Castle Succubus sometime. 
I feel like I should save it for a stream, though. Maybe that'll be like a treat sometime this month. If I have time. I already have my schedule like really packed. Probably too packed for a month for somebody who doesn't... Who... <laughs> who got COVID. Uh, probably gonna have to rest a bunch. I'm gonna be stream safe mod. There is actually, there is like a, like, safe for work. Uh, there is a safe for work mod for it, but, um, I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> be safe enough for Twitch. Oh, that was MP. Shoot. I was really hoping that was not. What? I was really hoping that was, uh, something besides MP. Ah! I, just in that moment, I'm like, wait, I gotta be really careful in this game because you have to. You have to be really mindful of things that are being shot off screen. So, gotta be mindful of that stuff. Yeah. 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 Bad like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Okay. Easy mistake, though. And we're not that far back, so it's not a huge deal. Th oh, we did get the Jupiter card, though. That is a loss. Ooh. That's a shame. But, yeah, what can you do? As long as you don't lose any. Yeah. Uh, Sid, how you doing? Yeah, projectiles will get you. It's one of, it's still one of my favorite Castlevania games. The problem is, is, like, the projectiles can be shot off screen. So, like, there's a fireball already, like, loaded in up here. So that's, like, the stuff we have to watch for. Oh, she didn't actually cast it, but if she was to cast it, even if I get close, uh, there we go. It would be loaded in. But that's okay. I just have to get used to that. So what am I looking at here? We got two doors on this side. Let's take a look at these. Okay. Oh, I didn't whip spin for some reason. Eh, it doesn't stop rocks. Yeah, it does not stop falling rocks. Ah. Yeah, Jackie, what you up to? How's this going? Full door, huh? Like, in quarantine, I might have the COVID, but I'm not symptomatic yet, so. But I... I don't know. I just kind of feel it in my bones. I mostly feel it behind my eyes is where I feel it. Yeah, what's up, White? What's up? Allergies. Right! I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting, like, after, after the, after my friend visited, I ended up, like, once we found out there was COVID, I opened my window, right, I opened my window all day, yeah. So it could be allergies, you are right. cards that I've mixed here. <laughs> hmm. 
nightmare. Oh wait, did I... yeah, no, I kept Jupiter. Okay. I got Jupiter before I hit the save point. That's a relief. Yum. Love the heavy baseline. Yeah, it's nice. It has a nice, like, uh... I don't know, it's just, it just makes it meaty. It's good. Just where you saved after getting Jupiter, right? Uh, apparently I did. Which is weird, because I feel like it... Uh, I feel like I should have been at that save point, but I guess I didn't hit that save point. Thunder Demon is... This is probably a good room to actually collect Thunder Demon's card, but that's kind of grindy. There we go. Ah, Manticore. Alright. Oh, Silk Robe. <laughs> There's a fireball that killed me last time. Uh, Silk. Oh, just, just better. This is only, that is, that's actually a really good item. No, I need my, I need my cross. I like, I like boomerangs. Oh, cool. Stylish suit. <laughs> I'm just getting all the items right now. Um, uh. yeah, fair. The sewer music is kind of bland. Oh. Uh, we get a little bit of attack power, but we lose a lot of intelligence. You're really popular while wearing it. Yeah, okay. Hard ring. Everything goes down, but my defense goes way up. It's only like down 10. But I'd be stupid not to have a hard ring on both fingers. Or wherever we wear a hard ring. <laughs> Who knows? Um, all right, what's, okay, what's this? Let's, let's start from the top. We got a new card, so. Blue door, that's a boss. Um, let's go back and save. We got a whole bunch of things here. Oh, this is the spore whip. Yeah, uh, get that little angled whip, throw some, throw some fucking pollen in their eyes. Yeah, our ring goes on the middle finger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Chaz hard ring. Unga suit. <laughs> okay. Um, poison whip release and of poison. So this is probably like all status effects. How you doing? Whoa. Uh, what did this do? Gain du double amount of hearts received. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> what if we just emit spores from our body? That's a spores spreads to protect you. Is that what it's doing? Okay, we'll just go with these two. What are we fighting? What are we got? Uh, okay, it's it's a golem. I was gonna say it's probably mon the monster, but I guess not. Oh, okay, drop some heaters on us. I see. Ooh. Ow! Fuck! I jumped into it. The mix was the it had a projectile that froze. Oh! Ow! Shit! Too. Mm. You know what? I bet this thing's really fucking vulnerable to these fucking spores. Oh. Ow, shit. Never mind, I give up. <laughs> okay, bad idea. 
I'm like, it's clearly a robot. And I'm like, what if we infect the robot with uh, parasitic spores? That's that makes sense, right? I can tell this one's got just got a lot of. Stop healing. Stop it. Oh. Got blocked by the door. Mm. Just go away. I'm tired of how spongy you are. Wait. Oh, you're faster now, I see. Ah, oh, fuck. It actually reaches far enough that it's hard to get away from it. Go away. You should be dead now. We need the... We need the... Oh, Belmont dive kick. That's what we need. Fight me. Spongy. My least favorite trait in bosses. There we go. Okay. Mm. Two levels? I'll take two levels. <laughs> Got bigger for a second. Oh, hey, it's our rival and brother. Hugh, are you alright? What are you doing here? Are you trying to take my glory? Uh, yeah. Because you're stupid. Uh, what are you talking about? I just want to save Master. You're in uh, the way I will defeat Dracula myself, and then you runs off. He's like, I'll defeat Dracula myself, <laughs> and then just like runs away, tears in his eyes. Hey, give me the flying boot kick boots. There we go. Yeah, give me the wall kicks. I'm about it. I didn't read the instructions, but I'll figure it out. Later, nerd. <laughs> I'm the next boss. Cut. I'm really sorry to tell you, but I'm the next boss. Okay. You score it. Well. Yeah, I want the cross. There we go. But yeah, there we go. So we can go to the save. You score an eight. I've infected. Wait, what? What? You score an eight. I've infected its oil supply. Its servos does it three points of damage. Okay. Yeah. Spins across right, you can get five hits. Oh, hell yeah. That's what we need. We need five hits. Give me five hits of cross. <laughs> um, alright, so I guess we're done up here. Let's go this way. No cards, so I guess I don't care about fighting these. Ow. Ow. Yeah, we need the we need to get the cross like space so it's just sitting on it. That's what I should have been doing at the boss. Uh, okay, uh, this guy has the darkest run of any Castlevania protagonist. Nathan, yes, absolutely agreed. Gamer dude, how you doing? Uh, how you ghostful? Thank you. That's that's very true right now. here what do we got yeah oh ow, shit I wonder if you can cancel the run into the slide no Fucking as a card. 
That's good to know. I didn't even notice. Unbelievably, I didn't notice the like constant pop-ups on the side. Oh, there we go. Heart. That's a good thing to have. Yeah, if you really think about it, we're all full of ghosts. Yeah. It says you're beautiful. Aw. Yeah, as cute as ghostful is. Aw. That's fair. Well, thank you. I guess we'll fight the stone armor here for a second. I don't know. Get another hard ring. I'm just gonna get a hard ring for every every finger, okay? That sounds like a good idea. Oh, just throw there. It was not space right. Okay, you know what? Now now I'm just causing problems and at this rate I'm gonna be in big trouble. Um that's okay, so there is one thing about this. This isn't like modern Castlevania games where you get like warp points to my memory. So that does mean like getting the cards as you encounter them is a good idea. Ow. Ow. So. Yeah. Cat girl fights stoner for trading cards. Yes. Also spectacular. Thank you. No, you do? They're just a little weird. Yeah, they're... I was like... It's not It's not like the same way as other Castlevania games, though, where you get the war points, like, right away. Oh. Uh. Ugh. It keeps giving me whip instead of... I'm not getting a strong up. Oh, it's because I have no fucking meter. That's what the actual problem is. Can't choose warp destination, you cycle through them in order. Okay. Yeah. This is the best place to probably get that card though. Don't want to grind it out. Is it worth grinding out? I guess we could grind it out. Actually, fuck it. Like. What's the trick for the using any card for, um, give me the luck setup. You only live once and I've played this game three times. It's time to be extra lucky. There we go. Level up. Super, uh, Super Castlevania 4 was uh, my first game in the series. That's, that's a, that's a <laughs> the, the, It's not my favorite in the series, but it's good. You activate your power while you're glowing and pause the game. Okay. And then just like select whatever. Hmm. Then just highlight any two cards and whether you own them or not. Okay. So let's see. Just one sec. Um Circle of the Moon Luck. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let me see. Ah, shoulder. It's funny because like I can sit here and play on a controller like all all evening, but like if I have to reach up for the mouse and like do keyboard stuff, it really does like fuck me up. Spirit uses this extensively as you can imagine. Absolutely. Card combinations. So what we're looking for is luck. Uh okay, so Pluto plus black dog. Uh no. Is there not a luck combination? I thought there was a luck combination. The fry has got initial activation animation, not like anytime you're glowing. Yeah. Okay, so just the initial like burst. Um just like I don't I'm more or less just looking for the combination that gives luck. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna put a little music on while I'm reading. Anyways, how's everyone doing? Hmm. 
None of them seem to increase luck. Okay, I don't care about it then. <laughs> I'm like, it's not gonna speed up this exact thing I'm doing. Do not care. You already have it. Ow. Is Venus Mandragora? Oh, shit, is it? Venus Mandragora? Okay, so this one. Okay. Okay. Does it not burn? It doesn't burn any meter either. Ow. Fuck. Okay, I'm getting sloppy here. How far away is my save point? Uh, far enough I need to be less sloppy. <laughs> Pluto, last slot, Mandragora is 25% ex oh, experience. Yeah, like that, I'm less like, concerned about. Effect won't be known until you get a drop and you get the visual effect. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay, that's all I care about then. So I guess we won't be using it. Uh, we should probably go over here and save. <laughs> that would be a good idea. And I guess we could do the wall kicks. I mean, this doesn't do burn any MP for this, but eh, fair. <laughs> the fireball's still hunting. There we go, save up. Oh fuck, my bad name rhyme is read what I said. Okay. Fireballs don't quit. They really don't. Ow. I'm amazed that worked. Okay, so... Button... 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 Aw, oh, boomerang skeletons. Cool. Uh, someday I want to be a skeleton with two boomerangs. In the back of the head. Code, you can't get sloppy for a fight. <laughs> oh, I won't be sloppy. I'm never sloppy. Uh, I'm not sloppy when it counts. Kale, how you doing? Should probably check that wall. Whatever, not a big deal. Um, I should probably go up. I guess I have an easier way up now. So. I wonder if I can do that off the same wall. Yes, you can. Okay. So, as long as I maintain my jump, there we go. Um, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Me sloppy, never. <laughs> um, wait, was this the area with the stone one? The stone guys? This is the one with the stone guys. This is not the one with, this is the one with the stone guys. There we go. I'm like, give me your stone card. Wait, does this not increase luck? So... Yeah. Stunning on them walls, yeah. Yeah, stunning on those walls. The walls ain't got nothing on me. Ow. 
Uh, you already triggered the effect once, so you can collaborate it with the menu. Oh yeah, increase lock by 25%. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, it's the best we can really do. We do need these cards. But I can grind it out later. I should really be going, making some progress. This is like something I do off stream. Okay, we'll do this one run and then we'll we'll make some progress. Yeah, I'm really hungry. I've been eating pretty good the last day or two though, so that's good. Just because I know that I need some good nutrients going into going into COVID if I do have it. Plus, after like a week of just eating like fast food in a car, like it's not. I'm I'm, I'm really overdue for some actual food. You know the effect works, uh, you know. Whereas the fourth slot is a fun one to play with too, it gives you different, uh, weapons. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, right in, right into that fireball. Play with gun. Power of gun. These guys got guns. Hyenas. Perspective. <laughs> oh. Am I getting poisoned from that? I can't tell. No, okay. I thought it was a little bit purple. Power of being afraid, big mood. I like how they just jump with me. Ow. So we've we've connected via that one. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, it's surprisingly deeper than I thought it would be. Hmm. I don't know if I can make that. It's like doable. Believe that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've made our way around here. Um Yeah. So I guess at this point we can circle we can go back to the right and like polish up some of this area because we kinda just lost our way through it. Yeah, we kind of just glossed over it, so probably be a good idea to do some of this area. Yeah, circle. 
Uh, hey PM, how you doing? Uh, this is a good vibe, so this is nice. It's nice to play something that's like chill. And it's funny coming back to a game I've already streamed before, like... I know, like, obviously I don't know everything about this game, because like I said, I tend to, like, once I've played through a game, uh, you know, I'll come back to- I will come back to games, but usually my memory for them is kind of weak. It's- it's just a byproduct of playing as many games as I do, probably. Um... I gotta free up the ramp for new stuff, exactly. I don't think cats are known for their memories. What? Yeah. I mean, when you play, like... <laughs> How many games did I play last year? How many games did I play? Just one sec. Get me out of here. Where is my desktop? Oh, this game doesn't like to minimize either. Okay. Um, Let me see. How many games did I play last year? Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. I, yeah. Did I not? I, I should have moved it over to this folder. I keep doing that. Uh, it's the original advanced collection? This is advanced collection. It's not original hardware, no. Uh, That file is somewhere, but be damned if I know where it is. The year before... Of course, I just was going to click on it and it moved it. I was like, no, don't do that. Stop. Organize the folders immediately, please. Not two seconds after... Like, I find the thing I'm looking for. It doesn't matter. Because I know what month it's in. It was in December. No. Uh, December. Yeah, I gotta get my chibi model, like, going again. Wait, I gotta get chibi. Yeah. It's important for reasons. Oh, there's a picture of the time we had a raccoon. Yeah, want to see the baby raccoon we had for a little while? Yeah, it was living in our attic. There you go. Enjoy my raccoon. I have another picture of it that's like sitting on top of my head, which is a very dangerous thing to be doing, actually. But I was just, I was a baby and stupid. Hungers for the return of squirrel. I do. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, no, I don't. No, I'm not a squirrel. Little squirrel. Yeah. 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 Also, here's a picture of picture of uh, my raccoon. Yeah, he was small. He was very small. Here's a picture of him like cradled in my arms. But this is also before I had boobs, so don't judge my flat chest. Yeah. He was very sweet. We named him Rocky. Squirrel is also good, but yeah, typically you shouldn't handle raccoons, of course, because they uh, can have parasites. And they're not good parasites to get, so you don't want to do that. But um, I was stupid, didn't know about that, so. It was a different time, it was like 20 years ago, so. Yeah. I'm judging your flat chest. Stop! No! My judgment is good. Oh, okay. Thank you. Even, horror, even with horror. Oh, there we go, I found it. Um, it's on my desktop, so I don't have to look for it every time. Um, how many games did I play last year? I played 127 games last year, and I beat 102 of them. So that's like, at the rate I play games, like I just don't have like the memory space to like remember every little detail of every game, unfortunately. <laughs> this is the unfortunate reality of it. Hey Charles, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, okay, we don't know how to kick boxes yet. Yeah. Uh, 
is a lot of games. It is. Mo to be fair, though, that was like a record for me, I think. Um, the prior year, I think, was closer to like 80. Yeah. Three days per game. Yeah. Three days per game. Yeah, pretty much, I guess. Yeah, I have just over 500 completions on Xbox, and that's a lot of games you're gonna meet. That is a lot of games. Uh, like, and that's the thing, like, if it wasn't for the stream, like, I really wouldn't have the time for it, though. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, Charles, how you doing? What you been up to? How's things been? How you feeling? So if by fluke, let's say, let's say I I do get, co I have COVID, but uh, what if I don't have a sore throat? Should I keep streaming? Like if I feel like, like streaming, should I stream? You know what I mean? Hey Cheetah, how you doing? So you got a spoopy game going for the spoopy season. Yes, it's our first Halloween game of the year. I was actually considering doing Resident Evil 4 tonight, but the game was so frustratingly annoying to get working on PC correctly, I held off. I'll do it tomorrow. Feel up for it, I guess why not? It's up to you. Okay. Like I will like as soon as I'm sick though, I will make sure I'm prioritizing health. I won't I won't push my push it. So if I just feel like streaming for an hour, I'll just stream for an hour. I won't I won't run by hard rules. For sure most of us would rather take it easy if you don't feel good. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. Unless you get worse and then you should hold off other than that, keep uh, water handy. Yeah. Ugh, I hate sore throats. It's like the bane of my existence. I mean, partly because, of course, you know, given what I do as a job, basically, um, you know, uh, it's kind of, kind of, you know, <laughs> talking is a little important for what I do. Ooh. I guess I'm overthinking this. At some point I acquired a knife, and I don't know when. This is just... Ugh, okay. New plan. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> These are just, like, far enough apart that I can't do the jump to get to them. N a knife! Uh -huh. Don't mind me, I'm just testing my limits. Uh, so throat is literally the worst cold flu symptom, it really is. I hate it. Uh, although I have to admit, the last time I got really sick, um, I actually had a really bad cough. My throat was sore mostly just from coughing, and I've never had, like, I've never been sick in a way where, like, coughing was, like, um, like, coughing took priority as being, like, the worst thing, and Coughing all the time is pretty bad. Like you get your throat gets raw, but not in like a sore throat way. But then on top of that, um, like you can't sleep because you're just coughing all the time, and you just like, ugh, it was, it was really bad. Like I wince thinking about it because it was just so painful. Ugh. Okay. So they were talking about advanced trilogy games that were uh, why they yeah uh, the reason was probably because of the like lighting because the Game Boy Advance didn't have a backlight until the Game Boy SP um, so yeah, coughing a uh, big deal first but if it persists for a long time it can hurt your chest yeah like it makes your chest ache uh, uh, yeah it was easier to see exactly exactly cheetah yep because the colors uh, the colors would be easier to see in low light. Uh, uh. Oh, there we go, we got our electric skeleton card. Uh, what is it? It is... The... No! It's a golem card. No! Time for Rock Whip. Oh fuck, never mind, it's fucking Long Whip. Yeah, long. Uh. 
Uh, oh, there we go. There's our first warp room. There we go. I've just missed them. I thought they were like later in the game. Um, oh, never mind. They are later in the game, kind of. There we go. Um. Oh, would you look at that? Huh. Interesting. Time to fix Dracula. It's locked. Damn it. Thought of everything. Okay. Someone do a long twism for me. I need to get a twism animation. I need it. It's important. Okay. Oh, this is really fun. The super whip. Yeah, earth whip to attack enemies from a distance. So, what does this do? Defense increases by percentage of map uncovered. Okay, that's super valuable. In the late game. Uh, but I probably won't have much value now that I think about it, just because by that point, you're pretty strong. Um, where do I go? <laughs> Up. Uh, yeah, we need the Twizzlem. Yeah. Time to Dracula. Yeah, with Dalsum range, exactly. Yeah, we're just gonna hit him with a yoga fireball and then just punch him. Jumping hard punch. He won't even, he won't even know what to do. Why is it? Okay. Probably a dumb statement, but like, they should put fucking Dracula in Street Fighter. <laughs> That's a thing that should exist. Uh, we need. We need Dracula in Street Fighter. Actually, no, that's a stupid statement because no, we need Dracula in Street Fighter. It's still a good statement, but we do. We just need vampire. Uh, we need Darkstalkers characters in Street Fighter. We need, but that's not. That's it's still not good because like Darkstalkers doesn't play anything like Street Fighter, and you can't really just like put Darkstalkers characters in Street Fighter because Darkstalkers play so different from Street Fighter. Damn. Okay, maybe just a really good, just a really good. Uh, it's a really good Felicia costume. That'd be good. I accept that. That's my compromise for no Dracula and Street Fighter. Moon. What about uh, Anna, uh, Annika Riss? Um, he's in Dark Suckers and doesn't play like a Dark Suckers. Um, I don't. That's the thing. Like Dark Suckers characters do like just their innate systems are like. They're too... A Darkstalkers character would just demolish any Street Fighter character just by virtue of both how the hitboxes work and how their, like, moves reach, but also just the combo systems. Like, you could you could boil them down to Street Fighter characters, but then at that point you might as well just costumes because it's really not, like, playing the character. Oh, give me, yeah, give me more max hearts. They really do need to do new, uh, new Dark Soccer's game though. It'd be kind of nice. Uh, I would like that. I would. That would be like putting Ryu and Guilty Gear exactly. Because let's be real, like Dark Soccer's and Guilty Gear are probably too. Like Dark Soccer's is closer to Guilty Gear than what it is Street Fighter. I don't know. They might fit in six. Have you seen footage of that game? That's true. They could potentially fit in six. Six is definitely like way more wild than your conventional. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, than your conventional, um, uh, like Street Fighter, which I think 6 actually looks really good. Uh, uh, we can Blanca step play. They did. They were like, you know what Blanca needs? Mini Faust. And it's like, oh, oh, oh. that's an interesting decision. But you know what? I actually kind of like it because it feels like a nice little tribute to Ono. So he always had Mini Blanca, so. It's like, that's kind of, kind of cute. Ow, the top of my head hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I should fucking, fucking love it. First time, yeah, see, right? I'm the same way, Nova. 
like I've always I, I mean I will say I have always had like an interest but I've just I've known every time that's like it's not for me but six actually looks like it might be for me because as more going on more systems more more interesting elements it looks faster and more exciting it's just it just looks good like six I'm like fingers crossed six is good Attack, continuous attack, very good. Uh, intelligence in Greece. Yeah, well, why is this one not activating? Oh, there we go. Oh! Okay. Makes her dash hurt. <laughs> Just block that axe with my face. My face dash. Uh, six looks uh, red. Blanco particularly speaks to me. Uh, Miss Akan. Um, Akan? Um, from four? No. Uh, no. Okay, so let me make a decision here. What should we be? We should technically just be sticking with. Wait, 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 wait. I just never figured out what this does. Oh, it's probably experience, but it's experience. No, it's not experience. Um, I think I should have went back to the warp. Uh, I could have went to the warp. It'd be a little faster to go to the warp. I'd be able to go to the warp. We can't go to the warp. It's a hard jump. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just walk our way back. It's fine. I'll leave it on until it does something. It's draining, draining my health, though, so... Or my MP. So it's probably doing something. I like to imagine doing something. Yeah. yeah. Come, we'll come back and he'll be the game's Potemkin. Hakan's, Hakan's weird because he's not like super big, but he is really wide. <laughs> which is, which is kind of true about Potemkin too. Potem Potemkin's a big guy though. I think that I think that falls to Hugo and Abigail though to be um, Street Fighters like Potemkin. I honestly kind of hate Abigail, though. Um, I think Abigail's kind of... <laughs> he's really... He, like, Hugo already had that base covered. You can't just make a bigger character than Hugo. Hugo's the big guy. He's, 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 that's his thing. You took his thing and you gave it to fucking someone else who thinks he's a fucking SUV. Like, Abigail could have been smaller and just had the trait of thinking he's a car. That's like, that's already enough. I like them both as characters, but mechanically, yeah, they're the same picture. Like, I mean, it's like the design is like the same. Like Hugo's thing is, he's just like, he's literally the big guy. He's, uh, he's, he's Andre the Giant. You can't like just make a character bigger than that. Like, that's his thing. <laughs> Oh, don't mind me, I'm just getting like... Actually, I drew a picture about this. I drew a picture of exactly about this thing. Just let me find it. Uh, when they announced that, like, how long ago was that? That was probably at least two years ago. Uh, three years ago? 20... Oh my god, was it actually that long ago? Uh, was it four years ago? Is Abigail four years old? Yes, it it's melting my brain. Tell something it's five years ago. That would be like too much. No, it can't be five years ago. Yeah. So, um, where is it? I gotta find this picture. It's important. Because it conveys both my. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you, but wider. <laughs> oh my god, was it six? 
couldn't have been that many years ago. That's fucked up. No. Please don't be that long ago. Yeah. Oh, here's some fucking artwork that you've probably, like, nobody's ever seen because it was back when I was, like... This is, like... This is from 2016, so this is even before my VTuber days. There's some fucking Overwatch, like, uh, YouTube artwork when I was doing that. Uh, enjoy that, I guess, while I look for this image. Uh. It's that's the thing that's like funny about VTubing is the fact that like I've like my design has always existed. Like I've existed for like ages before I started VTubing, so it's just like it's interesting to have that like long long termness, I guess, of like of it. God, I want to find this picture so bad. The smart person would just search when Abigail debuted. When did Abigail debut? 2017? Are you fucking kidding me? It was that long ago? That's insane to me. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> this is this is like my feelings on probably how Hugo felt about Abigail's debut. <laughs> Immediately had to sketch it. I'm like, this has to exist. Did I just exit my music? I did just exit my music. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that, is, that is the energy. That is the, this is the energy both I watched the Abigail trailer with, but also, also it's just like, fuck. Like, it's perfect. Yeah. If YouTuber design looks like a continuous version of your real life self, at least with the big hair, yes. I kind of want to get my hair like spiked up again. I'm like, I kind of want to just do it. I want to go back to it, maybe. Yeah. All right, let's get back into this. Imagine you go holding a newspaper like upside down. <laughs> yeah, the PhD on the back wall is upside down. Um. Like if they put Hugo in six, they have to make him. They have to make him bigger. They can't make. I know the thing. The problem is, is that they marketed Abigail literally. That was this thing. They're like, he's the biggest Street Fighter character, and it's like, oh, it's so dumb. Oh shit. these is the same okay okay um i don't know what that does let's take the lock okay we're in like the coliseum aren't we why didn't when why when do we go to the sewer i feel like i've went really out of sequence on all of this oh yeah it's a little little spicy but I guess I don't have to fight you, Sabai. So oh, fuck, it's a bear! <laughs> Holy water! I loved the other day, my mom was playing Elden Ring, but I I was like in the other room, and she just like spontaneously asks me, she's like, can I fight a bear? And I'm like, I mean, you can try, if you want to. And then I realized she was playing Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah, I forget your mom's a gamer, yes. Yeah, she plays, she plays, um, she mostly plays Zelda and Mario, but Elden Ring is the first time she's played a From Software game. Uh, she, she has, like, her big thing. Oh my god, it's a fucking tuba. <gasps> uh, arm guard and something else. Um, 
Arm guard. I think it was this, maybe? I don't know. Gauntlet? No. Uh, arm guard. That doesn't seem worth it. I don't know what the other thing was. It's lost to the sense of time. Well, shit, it does look like a tuba. I'm a little bit disappointed that Nathan didn't get a tuba. Can't unsee it. I was very much not a gamer. I'm not sure if she's ever touched a video game. Even one of, uh, even one of my grandmas enjoyed Crazy Taxi. Oh, that's that's super cute. Though I have to, I'm kind of considering like uh, probably telling my mom maybe tomorrow to go out to um, EB Games and buy a second controller because I don't want her. Typically, we share a controller and. Um, where I might have COVID, I don't want to expose her, but I also feel bad that, like, I, I'm stuck with the controller and she doesn't have one now, so it's like, I gotta, I wanna make sure that she has, can play, continue playing Elden Ring. So. Uh. Holy water doing work in this hallway. I don't have my ability activated. I don't even want this ability. Give me, give me, uh, wind and this. That'll, that'll be better. Oh wow, it barely runs out. Yeah, that's decent. Uh, so playing at our home is like, oh, that looks fun. Oh, very good. Like, my mom hasn't played a uh, game since the NES. Uh, she says controllers are too complicated. That's that's fair. Uh, my mom's, like, uh, my mom's, like, gradually warmed up over time to, like, other, like, controllers. Because she felt kind of the same way about them. But, like, over time, it's just, like, she's gotten used to them. So, it doesn't feel right. Um... Not good for a situation where I have to jump and hit stuff. I don't have to kill these things. What am I doing? They're not even they're not even affecting me. Um Underground Waterway. Oh, memories. It's all coming back to me. I'm like, is this a sewer? Am I like with the sewer until almost the end of the game. Okay. Mm. But yeah, no. Um, it's been like a gradual thing, though. Uh, I'm curious what my mom's going to think of the next Zelda game after playing Elden Ring. That's like the thing that's really like interesting to me. Because I feel like Elden Ring might be spoiling her a little bit. Because she's just starting to understand, like, deeper, like, mechanics and things. So it's like, oh, this sword might be better than this sword because it has different attacks and it might be more comfortable. Or, you know, uh, leveling... She's, like, understanding, like, the notion of leveling up. Which is, like... Because she plays Mario and Zelda games, she does... Like, that was something that was, like... She kind of knew, like adjacently to like watching me play some games what leveling up was but like seeing it understanding it firsthand has like been a thing so like there's times where i go out and she's just like i'm like how's it going she's like i'm just i'm just uh like uh I'm trying to think of the term she uses I forget but she's just like i'm grinding out like this one part and i'm like oh okay Whatever, uh, my family doesn't share my hobby, it's fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, too. Nah, uh, that's like what, that's the thing, is like, that's what friends are for, right? 
and it is something that it's like a generational thing because like our parents generation didn't like it was never really an option for the most part so they never really got into video games it was like there but by the time it was there it was already like kind of too late i guess i don't know maybe not too late but you know what i mean how did i get circled around here uh, Elf Gal, how you doing? Welcome everyone. Oh my goodness, welcome. How y'all doing? Oh my god, Elvish Evaders. Yeah. Uh, how's things going? Yeah. Mia, are you playing Cyberpunk? How's it going? I'm, I'm, ugh, I'm not playing Cyberpunk. I'm playing fucking Circle the Moon. Ah. <laughs> uh, welcome everyone. Gosh, I should introduce myself. Just one sec. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, have you watched have you watched Edge Runners? Is it what is it what sparked Cyberpunk? <laughs> yeah, welcome everyone. I should introduce myself, so for people that don't know me, I'm Code. How's my uh Katie or Cat? She they pronouns. I'm a variety game Bodega Cat VTuber who streams usually three games a night, five nights a week. And I play Pretty much everything from indie games to retro. Well, I don't play a lot of retro, but I would like to dig into more retro games. Yes, three times in total. Oh, nice, nice. God, I should have, I watched the first episode and I was going to go back to it, but it was like, I was, at the time I was like dealing with some health issues, so I just didn't get back to it. And then, and then the rest of the month's kind of just melted away from me with more issues. <laughs> yeah, welcome everyone. Ah. Welcome. Thank you for the follows, Sabrina. Thank you, Paratrooper. Thank you. Thank you for the follows. Transparency effect for October is a good call. Thank you. Yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. You can really see what's on my mind. <laughs> yeah. Just looking at the time, I better get some sleep. All right, Nova. You have a good night, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dork. What? Wait, wait, what? Yeah. I don't see anything there except for video games. Oh yeah, the text, the actual text crawl is actually blocking it right now. No worries. Anyways, but yeah, for anyone that is interested in catching my stream another time, just in case y'all are just, uh, you know, chilling out or whatever, uh, have to bounce. Uh, also lurk, but I'll leave you all, Nia. Well, thank you. Thank you for swinging by and thank you for the raid. Always appreciate seeing you. Uh, oh my goodness. And... And all your food pictures. Now I'm not even gonna lie. I say your name, and I'm like food, <laughs> which is not a good association, probably. But it's so delicious. I want some. <laughs> Anyways, oh, what we got? What we got? We got. Oh yeah, fuzzy peaches. Hell yeah, very good. I'm a known snack. It's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, for anyone that is interested in catching my stream another time, you can uh, follow me on either Twitter or dro uh, drop a follow on our Discord. Um, I post before I go live on both. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for the cheese. I would have been better in my mouth, but you know what? I won't complain. Yeah. Uh, all right. So where the hell am I going in this? Ah! Okay, so we've, we've, uh, this is the first game in our Halloween lineup, uh, oh yeah, I probably should have talked about what I'm going to be doing for the Halloween lineup this year, but, uh, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to probably start Resident Evil 4, which, um, I've never played Resident Evil 4 before, which I know is, like, a really big, like, that is, that is shocking that I haven't played Resident Evil 4, given it's, like, known for being, like, a classic, uh, why can't we see your smooth brain through your ghost head? That's really clever, actually. I probably should do that. I might do that. <laughs> I might do that going forward. I could. I actually. I think I know exactly how to do that. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, spawning. This is my life now. This is where I live. Um. Okay. So we've been down here. Um. I could go up to the next floor, I guess. It would have been viable. I missed some stuff up this way. This is what, oh fuck, these spawns. You know what? There's an there's a really good answer for this, which is Jupiter. 
on Jupiter, Jupiter, and uh, Salamander. This will make my life much easier. <laughs> or it will slip right between those. Yeah, you should probably go save. Yeah. yeah. And go back the eternal corridor of progress. No, we're going to the clock tower. Or I'm sorry, the machine zone. I forget what they called it. <laughs> there we go. Anyways, but how's everyone doing? Uh, I have to admit, like, I gotta sit down, I gotta watch the rest of Edge Runners, but I kind of, I already know that it's gonna be something I'm gonna really enjoy. But it kind of makes me want to, um, doing pretty good tonight, good. The game was uh, my favorite of the three advanced games. I think I like Aria of, uh, Aria of Sorrow just a little bit more. Aria of Sorrow, is that right? Uh, I think I like Aria of Sorrow just a little bit more, but um, the this and the only Harmony of Dissonance are this the only one that I'm not crazy about. And I don't even think it's bad. I just think it's just it's kind of dialed in. Go okay, check your model for sync. Oh, I am out of sync, aren't I? Just one sec. Uh, yeah, just one sec. I'm just gonna. It's been a couple hours. I guess I'm four hours in. Yeah, uh, just resync. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I think it's better. You can give me a heads up if it seems out of sync again. Yeah, uh, Ernie was uh, really not great. Like it's 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 okay. It's just very dialed in. I think. Uh, it was good. Miniseries felt like worth watching. Good. It's also nice because it's not super long, and I feel like there needs to be more stuff that's not super long because I'm not, I don't have a long attention span, so it's just like hard for me to like sit down and watch something that's like, you know, it's hard for me to sit down and watch stuff sometimes. Hmm, I went up there. Uh, fuck. I hit the wrong button. Take the clock. Yeah, take the stopwatch. Pocket watch. Okay, so it's like right down here, isn't it? It's right below this. Yeah. Oh, perfect. It's exactly where we need to be. Or at least something we can do, I should say. Ah! I thought I was going to shoot a straight fireball. Got Ducko, join some friends uh, in a video game. Oh, very good. What game you gotta play? Oh, these are strong. Yeah, Guild Wars. Ah, I gotcha. Okay. Well, good luck, Cheetah. Have have a fun night. Yeah. It tries to do neat things, but it also tries to be Symphony of the Night. Yes, agreed. It tries to be Symphony of the Night like light and. It's not, it's not, like, like I said, it's not bad, it's just, it's just very, like, dialed in. It just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like it has its own identity. That's its problem. I make the, yeah, I agree, I hope they make the DS collection, because the DS games, every single one of the DS games is fucking fire. They're all good. An Order of Reclation might be the best game in the series, so... Chino is really good. Yeah. Yeah, Chino is really pretty. She's a good character. Some cool stuff. Yeah, but so, yeah, it doesn't really have a lot of identity exactly. Um, what are we gonna do? I could go around here. 
I'm at the point now where I'm like starting to like. I'm like, we only have 37% of the map on. We have a ton. We have a ton of stuff to do. I'm just like. I'm I'm zoning in on like little things that I don't need to be focused on right now. We focus on them later. Um. Okay, that's the crate. Stupid knife. Uh, this is what we do now. This is how we move. Oh, it's this room. Okay. Oh, oh step back. Um, there. That's good. Okay, so this is where the castle gate is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I understand what I'm looking at now. Okay, that's why we couldn't go up that way. We can go up this way once we have the super jump, but we don't have that yet. We got all the boss medals and bloodstain on switch at launch with the horrifying input lag. There you go. Yeah. That sounds like a nightmare. Uh, suffering, a suffering that's beyond my capacity. Um, let me see. What are we gonna do? Miracle armband. Um, luck increases well equipped. Eh, it's more luck, but I, I, don't, I don't need luck right now. It's pretty bad. Oh yeah, it's awful. Like. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why you'd suffer through that. That's awful. Whew. Um, let me see. So we're gonna go this way. Yeah, the switch part is still not very good, which is a shame. Um, I guess we could go down this way. It's kind of a long way around. Um, I gotta look at the map on here because it cuts it off on my screen just a little bit. It made it better briefly, but it was uh, eight gigabyte patch. I made it worse again. Oh my god, that's just terrible. There's some like some stuff we can do down that way, but I think it's better we just go over to the waterway. Okay, let's do this up. Oh, never mind. We're in the chapel tower. Now well, let's let's go down this way for a second. Okay, at the very bottom. Okay, so it's a dead end on this side. So we can go back. Careful about the waterway. Yeah, this is this area is like a. It jumps up the the difficulty is like noticeable. Um. It's a little drop down there, but I don't know if I want to be bothered with that. Mm, I should probably. It's the little things that get you. Oh, yeah, that checks out the. Oh my god. Ooh, my health. Ah, uh, that's a lot of enemies to chew through, though. Let's go back this way. <laughs> Indecision. Indecision. Boy, I'm I'm literally playing with fire right now. Ow, fuck. Ow. There we go, level up. I leveled up, everything's easier now. Probably. Yeah, this is what I want. This is the one. It's called neutral. Yeah. Oh, you can't reach me. That sucks. It's literally like full screen. That's insane. Uh. 
There we go. Uh-oh. I, I feel weapon. I feel swords. <laughs> I'm like, I feel air. I feel swords in the air. I gotta go. Yeah. I can sense them. Yeah. My cat senses were telling me swords. A cutting breeze. <laughs> exactly. There we go. This is what we want. Yeah, that's the stuff. It doesn't do as much damage as what I was hoping. I guess the Fire Knight's probably not gonna take too much damage from fire. That probably makes sense. Um, just 25% more damage. That's that's a good. Uh. Yeah. Okay. sword has a thing. Okay, so that means... <laughs> there. Anyways, how's everyone doing? Sorry, I'm kind of zoning out just a little bit. It is the four hour mark. It is probably time to wrap this up for now. Um... But I want to go just a little further. Maybe one more boss. We'll we'll stop after the next boss, or if I run into more crates. I think the next boss gives us the capacity to push crates. Oh, pff, cool. Oh, great. I fucking love this. You know what? I'm just gonna sit here and keep whipping until these are gone, and then I'm just gonna probably save again. I mean, they don't individually do that much damage, so I guess it's small. It's all this. Yeah. I want to play this now. Do it. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, it is just like the more I'm playing it, the more I am just kind of like, this is a good game. Like this, I have my qualms with Nathan, but like. This is still this is good. Mm. Oh, my God, just get me out of here. That's what I should be doing, is throwing, throwing that out. Oh, hell yeah, tuba! Two tubas! Double tuba! Double tuba smashed your wall. Holy crap, this area is really, like, there's a lot going on here. Holy crap. Oh my goodness! Hi, thank you for the sub. How you doing? Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, all oh, hi. Thank you for the subs. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if we, I should get Thai food today. I mean, I can't leave my room, but I should ask for Thai food. Yeah, uh, all oh, hi. Thank you for the subs. Thank you. Much appreciated. Wait, I've been here before. I haven't been here before. It just looks like the other room. Uh, this, these are the ones you're supposed to freeze, which actually is kind of an interesting reference to Metroid. 
because they're, they're brains and you freeze them and they become platforms and it's like that's the thing you do in Metroid. Yo, run! Oh, oh there's a button you can press just to save. That's cool. I should probably save again since it's been like I don't know, decades since I saved. Aw. Oh, Scar, thank you for the sub. Aw. A oh, hive. Aw, oh, hive. You don't have to. So many subs. Gosh. Like, thank you. I was gonna sub this month, but cat vet fees off. That's fair. Understandable. Yeah. Oh my god, I just slid through that. Aw, oh, gotcha. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully the cat Cato is doing good. Like, we'll be mending up soon. I am taking a risk. Uh, taking a big risk. Tuba! Tuba! Yeah. Fucking guy is totally fine now. He had some seizures for a few nights and then stopped and he's totally okay. Oh, gotcha. It does happen. Or he just wants to frighten me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we had a dog that had, like, had, like, had, like, a seizure, like, once, but then, like, went, like, years without having another. Uh, I guess we could just go straight up. Yeah. Aw. Gosh, hi. Thank you for all the subs. Much appreciated. You really don't have to. Gosh. I guess I just gotta take this very slow. Oh, very net. Maybe some marionettes don't have cards. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're at the point where it's we're taking a big risk. I gotta I gotta EX bail. I don't know if I can even get back. We're gonna try our best. Okay. Just gonna free fall right to the save point. Oh, nope, let me slide. There, okay. Yeah, don't get hit by the marionettes. This is like a fair amount over a span of a week and you got his blood work done, they found nothing. Is is there an issue since so the vet's like, uh, don't even bother medicating him for it. Yeah, it would have to be something like more consistent. That's that's good. That's a good sign that the vet's being like responsible and not just like being like, oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, I thought my cat was having seizures and it turned into be back trouble mood. Yeah. How how is it white? How is it the me, you, and your cat all have back problems? <laughs> how did we how did this happen? It's not worth fighting all these things individually. Don't get me wrong, I need the I need the card from the knife, but that's that's just like gonna take a decade to go through all that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm getting outplayed by this knife. There we go. Our problems are fun. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, big potion. Oh, here's curse. Oh, oh, I'm cursed, right? Okay. There we go. Aw, paper, thank you for the bits. Also, thank you for the bits earlier. I don't I I know a bunch of things happened all at the same time, so I don't know if I get to say it, but thank you. Uh, what a horrible night to have a curse. 
Fortunately, we're not playing Castlevania 2, but we might play the, the good version of Castlevania 2 another time. Yeah, we'll, probably, we'll play it as part of my Fansly. We'll, we're going to start streaming through Fansly. I'll put on my Succubus outfit and we'll, we'll play... Uh, We'll play, we'll play Midnight Castle Succubus. <laughs> yeah. You did thank me earlier. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Because I'd rather I'd rather double thank somebody than like forget to thank somebody. Oh. There we go. Okay. A half health. Oh. Level up. Okay, I'm just gonna get knifed a bunch. Okay. Ooh, this is a bad journey. There we go. Save. Okay, we got another crate. It's kind of wild to think about the fact that, like, originally when I did this stream for this back in 2014, like, I was just like, ugh, couldn't possibly do more than one Castlevania game in a month. And now I'm just like, I'm gonna try and do all three. <laughs> like, oh, oh, Were Panther has a card, and I'm pretty sure it's a good one. Oh, I have no hearts. Shit. The neutral. There we go. Ooh, that was a little scary. It's not a small amount of damage to be taking, though, every hit. a way of healing, but you need an area where you aren't being harassed. Okay. No. Okay, you know what? Uh... Oh, wait. I need, I need the... You know, a couple different uh, combinations to heal you, yeah. Ow, fuck. Came too close. yourself if you stand still. Okay, that makes sense, because I don't think I know that combination yet. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I tried. Here, this is bad. Um, this might be might be an okay idea. Or oh, never mind, we can't activate. There we go. Oh my god. Starchiness of my own jumps. There we go. And we got the card. I live. Ah. Mm. I don't think I can make it up there. Ah. 
Okay, let me take a look at this healing, because I'm pretty sure... It... We have... Oh, we have a whole bunch of things here. It's Jupiter and Mandagora, is it? And if we just stay still. Uh... Oh yeah, just chill out. I'm hungry. What can I eat? for it. Oh, sword. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, this is fucking good. Ow. Okay, you know what? Time to get out of here. Time to EX bail again. Because we got, we got a good thing, and I would like to keep it the save point. There, oh, I passed it. Crap. Okay, well, that's okay. Yeah. Live to fight another day. There we go. Hit the save point. Okay, not a big deal. Yeah, just playing it safe. That's the smart thing to do. Uh, so Mars is the weapon one, isn't it? So we could do... Okay. We got a grass sword, a giant hammer, silly. Um, okay, something. I don't know what those are. Attack with poison claws. Okay. Oh, oh, sword draw. Sword draw. Holding the attack longer will inflict more damage. Oh, bigger. Interesting. Okay. Once healing over time while you stand still, the others straight up the ability to heal you for a lot of MP. Okay. This is very short reach. Can I charge it? Well, no, it can't remove while charging. So that's not. That's no good. We're gonna go with this. Because honestly. Oh, no, not that. Um, honestly, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um. Uh. Okay, first of all, we gotta figure out if it... Oh. Ow. Because, like, what we kind of need in this area is we need swing arc. Because hitting, like, aiming straight for these swords is not, like, super viable. We're gonna skip most of them anyway, so it's not a huge deal, but... It's gonna make hit. It's gonna make swinging at things or hitting things easier, rather than having to hit things with a pinpoint tip of a whip. I can hit things in the arc. Reserve might be the better one. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. We got a trumpet out of it. I love it. Yeah, I knocked the trumpet out of that enemy. <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> I'm like... Honestly, the reach on this is insane. I'm just... I'm just... Papping this tall with the flowers. Uh, I use the rose uh, sword and whip a lot. Aw, oh, gotcha. What's the benefit of it? Is it just like a little extra like reach or what? Okay, we can go up to the next next one up here. We don't have to fight for the cards, so it's all the more reason. Oh yeah, okay, block. Yeah, the rose sword's pretty crazy. Yeah, like the reach on it's wild. Oh yeah, give me a magic gauntlet. Yeah, like, holy shit. Yeah, because, like, hitting with the blade is, like, 70, but even the spray of rose is that that tip is still pretty good damage.
Well, maybe not good damage, but it's like at least damage. It's like a, it's got AOE, is what it's got going for it. This is a good example of where it's actually kind of useful. Uh, I think they hit just uh, pedals deal less damage, yeah. Mm. Both is leaving a little bit to be desired. <laughs> So the wear the wear panther is actually doing pretty good at just staying out. <laughs> just getting hit by the pedals. There, that's what I need to be doing. Oof, took a lot of damage on that one. Um, up. Yeah, the hammer's a little bit too slow, I think. This is kind of like using the big swords in other Castlevania games. Oh, I haven't. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't been using my sub weapon because of. Uh, fine, I'll stick with this. Oh. It's kind of like using the big swords in the, the Castlevania games, which I'm pretty fond of, so. to get food soon. Yeah, food. Cattle needs food. Oh, okay, it just drops it straight down. Okay. Wait, I could have went this direction? Oh. Hammer hits the ground, deals tremor damage all enemies staying near the floor, but it's uh, pitiful. It does hit hard if you land a direct hit, but it's super slow. Yeah. This also has like, that's the other part is it doesn't have like, it feels like it has a little bit less recovery than the whip, like just a tiny bit. So that's kind of nice. Um, okay. This is the next one, this one here, okay. This is nice, I like this. Actually good against the bloody swords too. Which is nice. Okay. We should be we should be like close. We should be close to the next boss. Uh, because it has a much wider box radius because of the pedals. Yeah, it definitely helps. There's less damage uh, and has less range, but it swings really fast. Very fast recovery. I don't remember who drops it, but there is a serpent card. Is ice element? Uh, yes, ice. Ice is, if I'm not mistaken, one of the things I used a lot in. Um, my uh, 2014 playthrough. Ow. Okay. A little bit cursed. This is a little cursed as a treat.
Okay, more Were Panthers. It's probably a safe point down here, though. Maybe. Oh, it requires a box. Shit, it is not a safe point. Ooh. I'll take it. Great. Okay. <laughs> Good. Ow, jeez. but I just got suddenly dizzy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just maybe the up-down motion. Yeah, I remember part of this game being tough. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, these enemies, these enemies have some, have some health to them. They don't, they don't, they hit pretty hard too, so. Save point? Save point. There we go. Uh, yep. Alright, probably boss in the next room here. And it's probably going to give us the capacity push crates, which, like that. Yep, there we go. Hope you're- oh, shit. Oh, you, you okay? You, back off. This is my trophy to claim. Oh my god, like, get over it. It's time for us to fight, okay. Ugh, you. It's just like, bye. Oh, hello. Oh, yes! I kind of forgot. This is a fucking sick design. Oh my god. Yes. Wait, what? Did Donnie quit my fucking... Give me my sword. It's a lot of fireballs. Ow, shit. I really, really just desperately want to run and slide. You know, last one, of course. This fucking design sick. That's what I need. Wait, <laughs> hold up. Ah. Uh. BDSM go baby. Yes. It's just it's just good eye straps. Let's be real. Like. Ugh, I'm just getting hit by all these fireballs. I'm being sloppy. Is what it is. I said I wouldn't be sloppy, so that's especially shameful. Oh, jump right into the head. Um, items. Do I have I do not have any potions. Oops. Okay. Take it slow. Slow and steady. I just noticed the drool. <laughs> I noticed the drool and that like was enough to distract me. I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, well, not go easy. Well, yeah. First run's data. This really does a whole, yeah, it doesn't do a whole lot, but what it does is annoying. Yeah, you have to kind of play around it. There's not really anything. You can't really just bulldog your way through it. Uh, all right. First run's data. That doesn't count. All right. Okay. Okay. Mm. Plus, I get distracted. <laughs> Goats don't play around, it's fair. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go with 25% more. I think this will be okay. Cheese will protect you. Go away here, this is BDSM goat that needs my help in the next room. Go away. Or you get your ass kicked. Yeah. This room's for tops only. Oh, maybe not so much, but 
Yeah, the extra reach, the extra reach is gonna be helpful. Shit. Boxing me in. Okay. okay. There's no contact on the hands. That's good to know. So it does go both sides. Ugh. Yeah, it's hard to just do right jump the skulls entirely. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's it's the fact that like you have to divvy your attacks up between like keeping the like road clear and also doing damage. This one got me. Ah. And unfortunately, Nathan doesn't have like real good movement for any of these projectiles. <laughs> the capacity. Oh, of course I would like land up there. Uh, ow. Yeah, because like you need to be moving in and out really quick, but you can't really do it safely. Someone, someone at Konami knows what's up. Oh. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to go up. Oh, I caught the ledge again. Uh, sometimes you think you're done, and one staggers you and hits you. Yeah, it's it's like the yeah. There's no set. Well, the the fireballs track right. They just track you up and down. But it's just like. Uh, It's like the way it spaces out, you're kind of landing blind on the very last jump if you do what I'm doing, which isn't ideal, I guess. Uh, would the holy water keep stuff from flying at you? I don't think so. Okay, you win one. Uh, okay. Um, the sword was a little bit better for keeping it clear, but it was also like... I don't know if I really was in love with it. Uh, there was another item down. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go back up here for a minute. We don't have a lot of uh, sub weapon energy, anyways. Cross. Yeah, the cross is definitely the best weapon for this. Because you can throw it and it will sit on him. Uh, I'm trying to think of where the last cross was, though. I don't have a lot of sub weapon energy, though. So it's okay. I can do this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, it's so good though. Is the drill the tell for the skulls? No. Okay. Just have to double check. Ow, shit. Yeah, see, that's like a bad situation there. Ooh. I could have slid it, I guess. Ooh. Okay, I'm just reacting faster. And also, just slowly moving away from these is probably going to be helpful, too. Uh, ow. Shit. Because it buys me more left and right room to move. Uh. <laughs> it 
It's so, it's so clunky. Just be patient with it. Ah, uh, I got boxed in by this little one right here. I don't know which I take more damage from, the bubbles or the... Actually, moving it, moving slower is actually way better for that. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, fuck. We do take a little less damage from the bubbles, but it's gonna juggle us. bubbles. maintenance that I'm having to do here on these fucking bubbles is killing me right now. Ugh, and they also don't become active soon enough. Ugh. Uh, ah, shit. You know, it's just exploit the DS system. I don't need to exploit the DS system! <laughs> I'm like, I can do it. I've done it like twice before. <laughs> uh, cross might be the best sub-weapon though, I agree with that. Oh my god. Do not tell me I need to exploit the system. Rolling my fucking eyes at my skull. Like, I'm like, fucking piss off. <laughs> Ugh, it's just slow. Uh. Okay. It's slow and monotonous is what it is. Okay. Um, just trying to think. You know, actually, there might be something to this. Um, I don't, not this, but I'm actually curious just to see. Okay. Um, okay, what I'm thinking is we put on the Earth Whip. Earth whip. Yeah. Because here's the logic. I don't have to go in as far to connect with the hits. So I don't have to... It's going to help me negate the deal with the bubbles so much. Or I'll just wipe all the bubbles in one hit. Oh, fuck. I didn't get the turn. It's only five. Oh my god, Nathan. You're so clunky. And that's like, that's like where this fight is hard, right? Because it's just... It's asking for a level of precision that you don't get with Nathan. Yeah. yeah, thank you for the sub. Paige, how you doing? What are you up to? I don't 
don't know if it's helping that much. Like a little bit more reach. It's it's a little bit something, I guess. It's, it's helping a lot clearing out the bubbles, so so there's that. I'm able to able to do a little bit of both here. Damn it! It's so slow. It's so slow. is really high yeah it highlights how clunky the movement is and the thing is is if you could slide cancel like just a stitch faster it would probably solve a lot of this Ugh. yeah see like I need to slide so bad there and it did the jump but because here's the thing here's the thing if you don't like it's not as oh my god dot yeah how you doing welcome everyone yeah how's things going dot oh my goodness racial yeah delicious smile fire welcome everyone yeah oh my goodness what are you playing what are you playing how's circle of the moon going good good yeah, we've been chewing on it pretty much well, for the last like four hours. It's been going good. Uh, uh, like a bunch of Castlevania games. Gotcha. I see, I see. Uh, what were you playing? Which Castlevania games? Uh, Neo, thank you for the sub. Oh my goodness. Oh, Pocky. Uh, that's a treat. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Big stretch. This is actually the first time I've like slowed down for a second. Oh, Seahorse, what's up? Yeah, uh, welcome everyone. Welcome. Oh my goodness, thank you for the follow. Uh, Let's go, baby! It's more time. time. Uh, Jade, welcome. Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh my God, so good. Uh, Circle of the Moon's going good. Uh, two games, uh, Game Boy game ones I've never played. Uh, before then Castlevania 1 then all the relics all boss play through of Symphony of the Night oh wow you had a full full evening of Castlevania then very good oh wow that's impressive <laughs> Aki thank you for the sub also here let me put a little music on in the meantime yeah how y'all doing yeah, 11 hours oh that's such a long stream dot you definitely take it easy okay get some food get some get hydrated oh my goodness Anyways, uh, yeah, so welcome everyone. Uh, for people that don't know me, I'm Code, asked by Katie or Cat, she, they pronouns. I'm a variety game Bodega Cat VTuber. Usually streams. I'm having like dissonance from the music. <laughs> Two different music tracks playing at the same time. Uh, usually streams three games a night, five nights a week, and yeah, I'm usually always around. I tend to play a lot of indie games, but I don't mind playing some retro stuff too. I want to dig into more retro stuff in the near future, hopefully. Um, and yeah, we usually just chill and play some games and talk stuff, talk about whatever. So yeah, if that sounds like a vibe, feel free to drop a follow. Uh, I'm post in the chat, and if you have to bounce, uh, you can drop a follow on uh, Twitter or join our Discord, and you can get alert whenever I stream. Uh, yeah, it was a little, it was a little bit of, like dissonance going on, just like <laughs> two different tracks going at the same time. Anyways, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you for the raid dot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's let's like get back into this. So right now we're fighting the uh, BDSM goat. I'm like, I'm like quality boss design. Mm, mm, immaculate. I can't believe I can't believe it. They hit it out of the park. 
What a wonderful, what a wonderful boss. Yeah. All right. Um, let me think. What do I want to do for this? The Earth Whip was kind of working, but it's very slow. It's all slow, though. Mm, what could we do? So draw. I wonder how much... Inflicts more damage, but, like, how much more? You can't do it while jumping, though. Mega Go, what you up to? Yeah, she's fighting me and having a bad time. I'm not having a bad time. You're having a bad time. I'll fight you. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm like... I wonder what would happen if we hit it with a hammer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Mega, how you doing? Mega goat. Yeah. Okay. A what? BDSM goat. You'll see. <laughs> hammer time. Let's fucking go. I gotta swing the hammer and hit. It doesn't even make contact with the bubbles. What? How much? How much damage does this do? It's like, I just want to know for the sake of science, how much damage does it do? Ugh, I can't even tell because of how fast we sink. Okay. Ugh, it's so slow. I just want to see it once. It does like 20 damage. Get get out of here. I'm like, get me out of here. Yeah, stop hammer time. No, it's not. It's not a hammer time. It's not working. The hammer is garbo. I've learned. Yeah, 20. I know, right? <laughs> Cutter, you sure you shouldn't be streaming this boss on Fansly? I mean, I could. Uh. <laughs> also, Seahorse, how you been? How's things going? Gotta go to bed? All right, Winter, you have a good night. Okay, I just, I really want to know how much the fucking boss would take from... Uh, oh, a premium! Okay, uh, just one sec. Uh. Okay, <laughs> this I want to restart, but I don't actually know how to restart in in this. Uh, save, just save right now. Whatever, restart game. Current progress will be lost. That's fine. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here. Yeah. Oh, and um, we got a prop roll. Oh, mirror mode's still a thing. I was gonna deactivate that. Crap. Okay, uh, that's all right. Not a not a huge deal. Also, something at night. Stop it. <laughs> y'all, y'all are like hitting me over the head with the redeems right now. It's okay. There we go. Can I refund mirror mode? Um, no, no, it's okay. Can can you refund mirror mode? You didn't buy mirror mode. <laughs> Okay, here, here, here. I can make it work. I can make it work. All right. It's okay. Uh, flip uh, horizontal. There we go. There. Okay, mirror mode. Mirror mode's really cute. Yeah. No, it's mod. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, anyways, how's everybody doing? Oh, giant Twix! Mega Twix! You got the Mega Twix! Congratulations, Ghidorah. Congratulations. You got the Mega Twix. Where's my Estus? There. There. We got our, our we got our Estus. Big. Yeah, Mega Twix, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Um, do we have ear wiggles in the mix? We do have ear wiggles. Let's do some premium ear wiggles too. Well, wow, it was well timed. Well, thank you. Very gently ear wiggling because I, I blew up my shoulder. Coincidentally, coincidentally, also BDSM related. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> um. Anyways, so yeah, hope everybody's doing well. Yeah, see you. I haven't seen you in a little while. How's things going? Yeah. My September was the, it was, it was like, it was like rolling down a cliff that was covered in barbed wire. It was very rough. <laughs> yeah, this game is some tough bosses, uh, starting from here. Not counting the bo uh, bonus cards you get from some of them. Yeah, it's, um, honestly, it's just the, the meatiness of this boss. It's just like, ugh, it takes so long. I should have DM'd you some hugs. Ugh, oh, yeah, no, no worries. It's been a ride. It's been, I've. Like, I was overdue for some bad luck, I think. So, I I probably deserve this. 
Well, things are getting better. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if I have COVID. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't think things have gotten better yet. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm not out of the, out of the I'm not out of it yet, <laughs> which is amazing. It's amazing to me that like that. Oh, hey, level up. Yeah, it's amazing. I only get one visitor every two months. That's like how often I see people. And uh, that visitor tested negative the night they left and uh, the night they um, the next morning after hanging out, they tested positive. So, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty screwed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, right? Like, I didn't even see my partner. Well, I didn't even see uh, my partners for a whole year because of COVID. <laughs> Probably because of COVID and a few other reasons. So it's like, geez, like, go figure. It's like the one person, like, I, that comes to the house and hangs out briefly every two months. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, pandemic's over. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's been a ride. It's been a ride these past past couple months. I don't want to like, I don't want to like, like drop it on everybody <laughs> again. I just can't. It's just been like so. It's been so. It's been so many bad things in a row. The same week I get two blood clots, I also break a tooth. And also the same week I'm gonna get the tooth repaired, I get, I'm now on COVID watch, so I can't go out and get my tooth repaired. So I've been like, I have a, I have a fucking pin in my mouth that I'm like chewing on. Yeah. It is, it is, it has been a ride. Or it's like a nail, rather. It's, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's like, it's, it's a metal chunk. Yeah. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Okay, let's just do it. I'm just, I'm just done. We're gonna just do the, we're gonna win the fight, okay? How about that? That sounds like a game plan. The bubbles are just like high enough that they don't quite get hit. I should probably go back to the Earth Whip. It's like worth the it's worth the actual like extra range. Actually, you know what? This might be good. Um the sword the fire sword. No. Um Cause it would deal with the bubbles, which is like the annoying part here. Oh shit, the very last one got me. The very last one. Oh, ow, fuck, that was right on top of my head. So then I don't have to, like... Uh, wow, I'm really lucky that... I'm not trusting the fire, I gotta trust the fire on this. Ow. Nathan's slide is not particularly fast. Like, you have to make sure you're 100% out crouching. Because if you're not 100% crouching, you jump. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, so, no. I'm, I'm hoping my bad luck ends soon. It's been a real ride. I'm just gonna slowly walk away and pretend these aren't like chasing me. No, oh, ah, fuck. Um, aw, thank you, Hive. There we go. COVID warding, thank you. Like, it's pretty for sure. I'm not looking forward to it. Last time I had a cold, I was sick. Like, I was literally bedridden for three weeks. And my voice didn't even fully return for a month, so I'm just like, COVID's gonna not be good. This, I like the look the goat has going on though. This is this is good. I I, I appreciate this. Me and this goat have similar tastes in blindfolds. No, oh, fuck. 
Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> it's so slow. At least the fire is like consistently like uh, oh shit, consistently like taking out the bubbles, which makes it a little bit easier to like move around. Because that's a big problem here is it's just it plays hard against like Nathan's like rigid movement. Caramel thing I like though. Mm. Yeah. This is like this boss is entirely like frame trap. <laughs> it's entirely built around like the idea that you're gonna like invest slightly too much and not be able to crouch and like slide out fast enough. <laughs> Like I uh, think Carmel, except for the corn. Yes, right? Same. Oh shit! Oh yeah, if a session ends like that, you fucking failed. <laughs> That's not good. You don't want it. Th that should. That is. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> yeah, um, we're gonna go back to the rose sword. Yeah, yeah there we go. This thing, is, this thing fucking slaps. It's good. Yeah. Oh, the Iron Maiden exploded. And we get this. Does it explode all of them? Is that how that works? Uh. Yeah, that's basically like how the last BDSM session I was in ended. Except instead of my head falling off, my shoulder got compressed and I was like, Ow. <laughs> Ow. I want to break now. <laughs> Damn, who asked for you? Uh, who asked... You for help. Yeah. I couldn't uh, just leave you, could I? Yes. Oh. Gonna shoot us. Oh, no, wait. That's probably just pointing, pointing at us. Yeah. This should, this should, <laughs> that's right, too. It's 1830. It's probably, probably not a handgun. Uh, it should destroy all the Iron Maiden things. Yeah. Don't think that you defeated it. I think that's exactly what I did. It was uh, the power of that whip. I well yeah I, I mean that could have probably bare hand been mm, mm, I, no I probably could have yeah no it was definitely the whip you're right I think we're in agreement you you could never beat me in training never once but father named you the successor and gave you the hunter whip your parents and my father banished Dracula together and those fond memories clouded his judgment don't forget that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm sure. I guess I probably won't forget that. Yeah. <laughs> B -b Baka. <laughs> yeah. There were guns back then, probably. Okay, that's probably as much as we're doing in this for now. Just because, like, we've played it for, like, five hours. Four hours, I guess, because I played uh, Doka Roko for the first... Yeah, it's 1830. Yeah. Um, we played Doka Roko for about an hour, which is... <laughs> The slipperiest game I've played this year. <laughs> Which is a weird, that's that's a weird trophy to have, but it belongs to Doko Roko. Which, which is a shame, because the game is very cool. Flintlocks? Yeah, that wasn't Flintlock, though. That was, that was... Actually, it was just his hand, but, you know. Um, I think we're... I think we're good. 46%, that's not bad. So we got we did like a fair amount. I thought I was gonna get the capacity to push crates in that one in that fight. Uh oh. Well shoot. Yeah. Wait, what were you supposed to not forget? I don't know. It's long gone now. 
<laughs> okay. So, let's go to our save point. Uh. Okay, I think we're good. Anyways, how is everybody? How's everybody doing? We'll take a little break. Um, you know, which button is it? This one. Maybe next time. Yeah. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, wait, no, not return to game. Buttons, how? All right. Okay, so we we made, did a little dent on um, Circle of the Moon. I felt good. And I had a bit, especially since uh, you beheaded me. I mean, it's nothing personal. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm just like... <laughs> I'm like, check out this overhead! And then I beheaded you. Yeah, you didn't even see it coming because you're blindfolded, but it was still pretty good. I'm like, trust me, it was good. Um, we got eight percent of the achievements. It's it's not not much, but it's like across four games, so you know. Block this overhead. Yeah. Uh, what are the achievements, anyways? Um. Oh. Um. These are pretty standard, they're just the bosses. So it's like it's just the bosses and then see like see two of the endings. And uh click all the cards. So that's that's not that bad. Remember to sculpt a blindfold, like yeah, no, do that. It'd be fucking sick. It'd be great. Whoa! That's why we don't do flip that's why we don't do mirror mode anymore. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh or at least that's why we weren't going to be doing your mode anymore. <laughs> Anyways, how is everybody? How's everybody doing? Uh, we'll take a little break. Uh, yeah, cool flip. Thank you. Thank you. Did it myself. Accidentally. I did an accidental flip once. I did it in gym. I was trying to pick up a basketball. <laughs> if that makes sense. Now that I'm thinking about it again. <laughs> I just, I was bending over and I kind of just flipped over. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know how to explain it, but everybody was like, what? <laughs> and even I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, it was a mystery. I don't know how it happened. Uh. Anyways, I guess for, uh, since we have a lot of new phases here, um, yeah, I want to introduce myself again, but I will show uh, some of the games we have coming up uh, for Halloween lineup, which is over here. We have um, Resident Evil 4, which I'm going to probably be starting tomorrow. Uh, Inscription, which um, I don't know when I'm going to be starting it just because I don't know. I'm kind of waiting to see like if I start becoming symptomatic sooner, I guess, or like I'd hate to start and then have to take like a week off, you know what I mean? So Inscription might be held off for maybe a week or so. Um, uh, Castlevania, we're doing the Castlevania Advanced Collection, which means we're gonna be chewing through all those games. Um, we're also playing uh, Splatoon 3, which is just gonna be off and on. Uh, probably a lot of evenings like kind of open with Splatoon 3, just because that's when Keats free. Um, and Doka Roko, which we started um, spontaneously today and I'll just see about Doka Roko. Doka Roko is like right on the edge of like being unplayable with how his controls are. <laughs> it's it's not that bad, but it's kind of just like it's a game that did like it's a game that clearly like requires high precision, but you control like you're in space with a jetpack. And it's like, oh, this is this is this is a game where it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to this. It's not, it's not. I don't think it's bad. It's just very, very, very different. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Thank you for the head pack. But I probably should take a little break. I should take a little break. Mm. Oh, Carvis! Thank you for the follow. Mm. Um. Ah. Oh. Ah, it feels good. Also, once again, thank you, Dot, for the raid. Thank you. Much appreciated. Like, seriously. Oh, 
Little breaky, uh, breaky wake. Oh, en enjoy your ultros. No, uh, en en enjoy, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everybody's just like, oh, yeah. Sorry. Honestly, probably should remove him. <laughs> Eat up. <laughs> guess what? Yeah. We're, we're having. Uh, I was gonna say calamari, but calamari's squid. Wait, what is what is the term for octopus? Is there a term for octopus? Uh, oh yeah, takoyaki. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. My brain would just like was like, I don't. I'm like, I can't remember it. I'm like, in you know what it is? Is because I'm like trying to think in Splatoon. What is their reference? <laughs> Never mind. Why was Splatoon my like handbook for that? Yeah. I don't like I don't think I could eat octopus. I I do enjoy squid though. Yeah. Harvest, how you doing? Yeah. Hey buddy, you signed up for this trick or treat. <laughs> Incinerate, how you doing? Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, I should probably take a little break. Um get a little bit of a snack. We might play a little bit of words. What time is it? Oh, it's almost 3 a.m. Maybe we'll just play Vampire Survivors. I don't know. I don't know. It is pretty late. And I shouldn't, I definitely shouldn't be pushing myself. I should try not to push myself. But I want to play more games. I'm actually feeling good right now. Yeah. Quite like squid when it's cooked well. Yeah. Unfortunately, the last couple times I had calamari, it was definitely not prepared right. So. Like it was just, it was just really chewy and kind of bland and it just wasn't hidden. It was a little bit upsetting. Cause it was always my treat when I went to the city because like you can't really get good calamari here. And in the city, if we eat at a fancy place, uh, you can usually get pretty good calamari. But yeah, didn't end up shaking out that way. Mm. <sighs> Anyways, but yeah. He's vibing. Mm, yeah. We'll just vibe for a minute. How's everyone doing? <laughs> uh, hope everybody's doing well. Yeah, I'm gonna head to bed. All right, Val. You have a good night. Uh, I'm just like sleep tight. I'll tuck your head in and <laughs> just pull a blanket over your dis <laughs> decapitated head. Yeah, catch you later on Discord or another stream. Yep, yeah, I will be streaming tomorrow night, so I will be around. I will try and put a. S okay, I'm gonna try and put out a schedule this week. I'm gonna try and put out a schedule this week, but um, because um, because I don't know when my COVID symptoms are gonna kick in. I'm basically just, it's like, the schedule's the schedule until it's not. <laughs> I'm grinding away for a hair cell piece, so, aw, oh, gotcha. Okay, uh, oh, it'd be nice to have some calamari. Mm. Probably get some Thai food, though. I'm gonna maybe ask about Thai food maybe today. Yeah, since I can't go out. Yeah. Eat cheese for plus two COVID defense. Is, is cheese supposed to be good against COVID? <laughs> I'm like, wait, is that a thing? Uh, okay, we're gonna probably, we're gonna play at least one run in Words Can Kill, and I'm gonna try and do a little bit of Vampire Survivors. Not medical advice, okay. Good to know. But, um, put a note on your stool outside your room that says Tyve. That's a good idea, actually. Hmm be so good because I can reheat it and everything. Oh. All right. Um, just thinking. I'm just thinking what I want to do. Yeah, I should probably take at least a 10 minute break. It's been it's been five hours and uh, I am feeling really good, though. So that's that's a plus. Like, I'm not feeling sleepy and I'm feeling my energy level feels OK. I feel just just slightly off, but I wouldn't be able to really put my finger on why. Uh, please, I, and I guess that's probably like White said, maybe allergies. Uh, uh. Uh, mm. 
Oh, because I'm undead. I'm a ghost now. Please slide Thai food under the door. Yeah, their system right now is basically that I have a stool that sits outside my door and like if I need any, like I basically like, like mom will, mom will basically just put like food or whatever there, or water or whatever. And so I just like sneak out and grab it. Yeah. <laughs> We're being very careful with COVID because I really don't want to get my mom sick. So I'm staying pretty much isolated exclusively to this room. Yeah. But it'll be okay. Please slide burger under door. Yeah, just like just like each piece of the burger, just like the the top of the bun and then the patty and then the bottom bun. I'll just reassemble it, it's okay. Yeah. I'm like, no worries, I got it. Yeah. Ah. Mm. I'm like, I'm not tired at all, big yawn. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be right back. We'll all just hang tight. I normally go over to the BRB scene. I guess I probably should anyways, but the schedule is not correct. So just a heads up on that. This song, folks, what a tasteful cat. Thank you, it is very good. Uh, all right, floor crud is the best burger topping. <laughs> no, no floor crud. Oh, I actually <laughs> caused the song jump. All right, I will be right back. Everybody, we're gonna take 10 minutes and we'll come back with words can kill. Do you like, do you like Slay the Spire? Do you like Scrabble? It's, it's those two things in one. So that's what we're gonna be playing next. Um, and after that, um, I don't know. Um, Vampire Survivors. Okay. <sighs> it's a great time to grab a snack, get some food, get some water, uh, you know, get up and stretch, take some medication if you need to take some pills. Um, and yeah, we'll be back in 10 minutes. So, BRB, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 